G. What did you say? What did you say? The uh, Slax is looking for casters, guys. On a brigade.twitter post, I wouldn't feel too bad. Oh, little blimp. Oh, what is it? What is it? I didn't even see you say you seeing that, Bill Andriol. I have to like when I'm doing the China stream, I have to pull it up on over the top. The shadow one, dude. How have you been, my dude? Feeling okay? Missed you, sir. I had to uh, I had to moderate the chat by myself. Very difficult. One guy even spoiled and got away with it. Oh, Balandrio with the five gifted subs. Pushed. I'm super tired, man. I'm super tired. I didn't see it, Belangio. I didn't see it. You could have got away with it. It wasn't for those pesky kids, i.e. yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm super tired. Yeah, it's only, uh, it's only 4.15 a.m. It's only 4.15 a.m. What a god. What a god, Belangio. Let me give you some coins, dude. You can throw it all away. Boom. Consider yourself swagged up, dude. He's got a Scottish girlfriend, guys. He's got a Scottish girlfriend. In the dream. I also have a Scottish girlfriend. Mine sounds more like Dark Willow, though. Um. Sub go met. First thing. No problemo. All the pressure's off now. <laughs> Warm missile. Jeeves, you're a great broadcaster or whatever it is that you do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I do either, dude. I don't know why I do either. Guys are all missing out on the dance because there's no calm. No ring behind me after too many Jaegers. Dude, I had a bottle of Jaeger. <laughs> I had a bottle of Jaeger. Tell you the story of the Jaeger, actually. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so I got this bottle of Jaeger to go to a party, right? So, uh... I go to the party, right? And it's like, all the kids are like, I don't know, 20 or something. I'm like, I'm like 40. Like, the hostess of the party is like, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? And I'm like, uh, I I'm here with such and such. He's like, okay. Um, I'm like, okay. So, uh, the party's, I don't know. I'm not really connecting with anyone. I don't even open the Jaeger. End up leaving the party later on at like, I don't know, 1am before the party's even getting really started with the bottle of Jaeger. And then I go to another party, with some workmates. I take the bottle of Jaeger. I'm thinking this is the time we're gonna drink the Jaeger shots. We're gonna get blitzed. And, uh, <clears throat> well, we party on, we party on, we party on. We go back to this girl's house. Everyone is blazing. It's four o'clock in the morning. He's like, "Well, we open the Jaeger," and I'm like, yeah. "Everyone is blazing." <clears throat> There's no need to increase the fun level. Yeah, like 4.20 in the morning, right? And then uh, I uh, I take the Jaeger home and it sits in the fridge for three months, right? And then uh, I'm at work at like, I don't know, 10 a.m. Uh, in, uh, in the morning, right? Different day, different week. And my... my uh, 
<laughs> my flatmate, right? He's an Aussie, right? Or he was. I, the flatmate I had at the time was an Aussie. He messaged me, he goes, dude, dude, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I've drank all your Jaeger. I'm like, what, what? The whole bottle? He's like, yeah, yeah, I broke up with my girlfriend and, and I downed the whole thing. I'm super sad. So I'm like, okay. He's like, I'll buy you another one. I'm like, okay. So I go back to the house and he's fucking downed the bottle of Jaeger and then just promptly spewed it up everywhere. And I'm just like, dude, Jaeger is not cheap. <clears throat> Jaeger is not cheap. Because uh, <coughs> I'm not a drinker, Belandrel. I still have my beer in the fridge. I've got like three or four beers from the crate of beer I bought last Christmas. For Christmas. I still have my beers there. <laughs> Uh, all of the uh, playoffs, who's never, were played in the, um, were played on LAN, on LAN. Yeah, it's 4.20 in the morning! Woo, woo! No, I used to be a hardcore alcoholic from the ages of about uh, 15 to 21, 22. Um, I've probably drunk more alcohol than most people have in their entire life. <clears throat> punching the guy on the left. Burning? I don't want to punch burning. Well, funny. <clears throat> but yeah, I used to be uh, I used to be a hardcore alcoholic but Two story Two story, we're 10 out of 10 in the lobby uh, That is you know in the center, yes sir Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full sir But was it deep fried alcohol? Well let me tell you what, I used to work in a chip shop when I was a young lad Finest chips in Scotland, I believe. Years running, and then I left. I know, guys. It says it's five out of five in the lobby. I expect it's going to start in three minutes, so five minutes for the um. Oh, Shadow One's on the on the grill. He's on the Barbie, mate. He's on the Barbie. Was? Ich sprach kein auf gut Deutsch. I mean, as soon as the Rona is cleared, Inverness is like a tier one, dude. <laughs> we have no Rona. There's like 80 cases in the entire Highlands or some shit. Inverness is weird though, man. Inverness is real cliquey. Like, it's like living in a village. I know it's a city, but it's like, a, it's like the atmosphere is like a village atmosphere. I used to live in a really nice part of Inverness called uh, the Ferry. Yeah. I was in work one day in the Galleons Bar, which is where the, um... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, it's where the Proclaimers, you know the guys I would walk 500 miles, it's where they did their first gig. I used to work there. And uh, I lived in the ferry. That joke will make more sense to your girlfriend than to you.
Inverness is accessible, my dude. I used to fly from Inverness Airport all the time. It's like a direct connection to London, and then you can go out wherever you want. Hold silence. <clears throat> I just dropped a grand and a half on a new PC. Nations are awesome, but subs are fine too. Um, basically, um, subs grow the community. You know, it gives other people a chance to um, participate in the community. Voice is getting a bit raspy, huh? Better drink the tea. All right, come on, you know, let's go. Um, I don't know actually. I don't know why Emba has a satanic symbol for its thing. I believe this is a, a, a hardcore heavy metal rock music symbol. I think if you do the six six six. Your thumb comes out for the 666, right? Whereas that one, the thumb is pressed in against the fingers, which is music, which is rock. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if you make the symbol and then put your thumb out, if you do the th symbol of that there, then push your thumb out instead, you've got three sixes, right? One is backwards. I always knew Dota would lead me to Satanism. Illuminati! Illuminati, indeed. Tier 3 subs in the Jeeves Dota TV experience. Illuminati, boy. Illuminati. What does the robot say? <gasps> Game is loading. Hype it up! Ice cream! Ice cream! What? The music is so loud in my ears, I didn't hear oh. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me load the game dude, and then I will attend to your information from this game. Thank you so much, my dudes. Bella. I don't know what Venmo is, my my, my guy. Bella. Oh, I see, I see. Um, hmm. Have some points, Bella. Thank you so much. Thank you so. Thank you so much. No calm stream, guys. I need to plug the. Uh, oh, I see you've got two accounts. Very clever. Very clever. All right. All right. Um, cut. No calm stream today, guys. The camera's not plugged in, and we don't want to drop frames. But camera Monday, Tuesday, when the new computer's built, we will go calm, calm, calm. All oh, yeah. No problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get it on for the China Dota Pro Cup Season 2 Lore Bracket Final. Elephant versus Ehome, this draft, it's flying forwards. There goes Mars, there goes Io. Get rid of Slardar, get rid of Undying. Hello, Rubik! I am General Jeevicus, by the way. By the way, pal. Uh, uh, we should get some game sounds, right? That'd be good. Um, you, you, you God, I left the heating on all night because my... Uh, Damn cold! Why does it not say your full name? What's going on here? Uh, that's or that's that's awkward. Come on, dire team, pick it, pick it good. Oh, I'm confused.
10 seconds to pick your hero, you moron. Yeah, five seconds left now. Bro, that got taxed. <laughs> Stop putting in short names, guys. I've given your coins to other people. Put in your proper names. God damn it. Right, right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, man. Uh, so we go Rubik, we go Lena, we go Ogre, Magi. So I, wait, cold, so Cold Silence, you donated, right? So I will... I'm so confused. Silence. You, you, you really gotta pick a hero. You got 10 seconds left. What do you say, you donated? Uh, 25. Go. Cold Silence, have some coins. Bella, 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 Bella. Bella, 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 Bella. Bella, 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 Bella. That was you, Bellandrio, Bell right? That donated the, the 10? Yeah, yeah. More coins. More coins! Uh, right, there you go. To pick your hero, yeah. you moron. Everyone is all coined up. Um, Dude, you, you that's awesome, guys. That's awesome. Seconds. Thank you so much. Uh, we got the Bloodseeker, we got the Lena. Phoenix is still available. Mars is gone, of course. Undying is gone. Is La what ya? Yeah, thank you for the follow. Oh, we missed some followers, by the way. Who did we, who did we miss? Who did we miss? Life Together, thank you for the follow. Push, push Tech, thank you for the follow. Venomous Heart, that's a cool name. Thank you for the follow. Big friend and enter, guys. No spoilers, please. Keep it clean, keep it gimme. Oh, join the Discord as well if you're not already there, boys. So you can stab me in the back when we play Among Us. Or whatever, you know. Find out when Jeeves goes live. Exchange uh, intimate knowledge of the Dota 2 scene. Like T1 of starting a new team. Ban Sven! Ban Sven! Okay, we got the Lifestealer Ban, we got the Morphling Ban, get rid of the Crystal Maiden, get rid of the Sven. Shaolin, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'm, I've never sat either. I'm always, um, I'm always captain, captain questionnaire. Oh, Chow Lane, you, uh, are you watching the stream ahead? Are you? You know, there, if you spoil here, it's a lifetime ban. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. Yeah, my friend Lewis was on like, um, I want to say it was like a 30 streak of creep. <laughs> I didn't get to be the imposter at all. And he's a savagely fast killer, so we all know when he's not the imposter, because like, you know, still, uh, he's, everyone's still alive. <laughs> All right, get rid of Disco Stew. Oh, I'm hyped for this, guys. Elephant versus E-Home. Goodbye, Juggernaut. Yeah, the techies took 94 minutes. Man, that was crazy. It was only two minutes off the longest uh, game in this patch, by the way. Two more minutes. If Zeus saved his goddamn buyback, guys, we could have had the longest game in the patch. You, you really got to pick a hero. You got 10 seconds left. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right, but you know, it doesn't scale that well at 94 minutes. You know, you got to think about that when you're making your picks. Like, how well will this hero scale at 94 minutes? I can't believe they beat in the end, honestly. I think if Ami, like, so there was like three early throws from Ami. If Ami doesn't make those throws, I think the game is just over for PSG LGD win. Oh, Magnus. Shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He is still available. 
I mean, Elephant could go PA as well, though. Well, they're gonna go the Templar Assassin for some extra pace. You got the Little Finger of Fun, Bloodseeker for the offlane, Ogre Magi to accelerate. PA is the obvious choice here, but is it the right choice? Uh, ten seconds to pick your hero, you moron. Yeah, five seconds left now. Yeah, I think a chance for over 2.5 is pretty big, like a pot. Put in the off lane. No big deal. Play mid as well. Okay, they're gonna go for the Uber Lord, so PA is gonna get banned. What's that gonna leave them, Ember? Chaos Knight? Yeah, yeah, they could do that. It doesn't feel great though. It's actually okay. Yeah. Take out the Monkey King. Damn, actually, that might have been the plan. Might have been the plan, boys. Jug's banned, though, Cold Silence. And Jug is popular because PA is banned, and uh, normally, and uh, normally, normally. Um, <coughs> yeah, Jug is popular because PA is banned normally, and it's really good with the Magnus. Yeah, I think they I think they expect PA from Elephant, so we might see it getting banned here, because Disco Stew's banned. Drow's banned. Pick the Underlord, which makes Elephant not want to pick the PL. They could go PL on Ehome. They could go PL on Ehome. Well, it might be nice, but they banned it, Mongoose. Banned. You, you, you really gotta pick a hero. You got 10 seconds left. Oh, please, no Spectre. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Come on, Dire Team. Pick it, pick it good. Uh, Death Prophet. Found a troll, okay. What about Wraith King? You, you, you really gotta pick a hero. You got ten this kind of shit in the lion, though. The suckening. The suckening, boys. Oh, they're gonna get the Wraith King, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the lion suckening, though. Right? Seconds to pick your hero, you moron. Yeah, five seconds left now. Undying is bond, dude. Ugh. Wake up, dude. <laughs> is it not big enough? Is the screen not big enough? <clears throat> Slark. Ooh, Slark's good, actually. I really like Slark. Slark is good. The band pictures are tiny. Um, I mean, with Slark, though, the problem is they've got a lot of AoE, right? The Uberlord can pin him down. The Magnus can pin him down with the RP. Lina can pin him down with the Light Striker Ray. But for building stacks on Uberlord, Magnus, and Wraith King, that feels good, man. Feels real. Oh, 
the Deagle vs. Slark. All right, 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 all right. Don't spoil. Nah, Slark is a good pick. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go. Game one, best of three in the lower bracket final for the China Tour Pro Cup season two for Elephant. It's Red Panda on the Ogre Bacha, Young on the Bloodseeker, FY on the Line, Somnus on the Templar Assassin, and Uros on the Slark. Or Ehome, S Triple C on the Skeleton King, Chalice on the Underlord, XM on the Magnus, X Nova on the Lena, and Fade on the Rubik. I am General Jeevicus. Let's get our Dota 2 on. No bet all. Only bet numbers. No bet all. Only bet numbers. No bet all. Only bet numbers. There you go. Um, am I gonna bet? I'm not gonna bet, but I think. What's my swagger? I'm, I'm running a little low on swag, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling a little bit. Feeling a little bit low on the old coin there. Um, they got some pace, right? Elephant got some pace. They got a little bit back up. The Bloodseeker makes some moves. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. It feels super 50 50. Either of these teams can pop off. My concern is the Skeleton King versus the Lion. The early game. Sucking in. So I will go Elephant. Oh, what the hell. You only live once, guys. Only live once. One tiny small bit. That was hot. Don't hold that against me. If we... Um, nine to eight right now. Oh, I'm the swinger. It was on eight to eight. No, it was, it was, it was even Stevens, guys. It was even Stevens. I have ruptured the balance. Text you, text, yes, sir. I'm gonna start using the stream deck. But it all disappeared. Right, what does the robot say? The Japoni gamer, the betting is closed, my friend, I'm afraid. Uh, four points of draft. I'll, I'll open it again, though, if you like, because we're on a pause, right? But only this one time. Go, put your bet in, put your bet in. Pony gamer! Betting. So it's 52-48% in the draft. Four points draft advantage to Elephant, the little elephant who could. Oh, Peggle got in there as well. <sighs> Baited. Uh, what is the mango? Oh, dear. There's there's definitely mango issues. So X Nova has a mango. Yep, that's one. S Triple C has one mango as well. That was hot. That was hot. Versus. Buy a bet on an elephant. Feeling it, man. Feeling it. You fought to tame the lion. Versus. Like stealing. It's now ten to eight. Baby. Is that right? And no longer living, Is that right? Baby. Yep, 10 bets on Elephant, 8 on Ehome. Somebody's bet didn't go through. That was hot. That was hot. No, guys, I'll open the bets for the, the third time since you guys are Johnny come lately. <laughs> right? Which bet, which draft do I prefer, Exer? Um, I mean, I feel Elephant has a lot more pace and it's a lot like there's no wombo combo they're trying to, um, no wombo combo on Elephant they're trying to execute, right? It's just a case of just win lanes, push lanes, win games. With the e home, you kind of have like you've got a little bit of save with the underlord. It's it's a difficult save. It's like a five second save or some shit like that. Um, the Magnus, they've got you've got like a wombo combo. You've got RP that can always shift the balance of things around. You've got acceleration for the Wraith King, but at the same time, um, Ogre Magi can accelerate all three of the heroes. Right? They can accelerate the Bloodseeker, the TA, and the Slark. So, I mean, there's acceleration for both, but I think the tempo on Elephant's faster and harder. Why not close the bets when the creeps respawn? This is the way that we have always done it. This is the way, guys. Do 
you a bet for what time will Lore wake up? Oh my god, no! I ain't ready for this! I didn't do this! So FY is in the offlane here going with Yang Gang on the Bloodseeker, S Triple C on the Skeleton King, full Skeleton King almost, right? Pretty much full Oh no, he's got the uh, Immortal, same Immortal as me. Immortal Blade! For the nicest of skeletons! Alright, Mr. Uros downstairs, he's gonna build Wraith Band Stick. Red Panda will join him. My cat up to no good scr scratching at the door again. But it's Magnus mid though. Magnus mid versus Somnus here on the TA. How is this lane gonna go? I mean, it's pretty good, right? Because you'll bust through his shield even when you're hitting creeps. Yeah, yeah. Clark should die in the lane at least twice, hopefully. Otherwise, things problematic. I mean, it's paparazzi Slark though, so probably not. Yeah, Magnus mid. Pretty common, it's pretty common. XM, he's taking a quite a pounding here though. Nice angled shots from maybe. Here's another one. Oh, 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 oh yes, look at the harass. Look at the harass. Get the courier snipe. Very nice, very nice up top. S triple C going low. S triple C is. I mean, he's dead, right? No, no. Force him in under the tree. Okay, the light strike array. S triple C does go down first blood. FY gonna die in the tower, but still it's X Nova that gets the kill. Now Yang Gang chasing in under the tower here. He's got plenty of cover for now. Good for an angle. X Nova the light strike array in a few seconds. No one gonna die mid, he says. No one gonna die mid. I mean X I'm actually kinda going I think it's about positioning there in the mid lane though, especially rotations. Oh, Papa gets the kill. Papa gets the plus one Aji. Papa rocking right now. Four st stolen stacks as well. <clears throat> but Fade, he's giving him the old digs, right? Has he got a Fade Bolt? That's a Fade Bolt for uh, Jesus Christ play. Light Strike Array, but the Silence will zone them. Oh, give him the old stun. Give him the old, give him the old Ravage. The one man Ravage. Oh, shit. Gang, gang. What was that light strike of X Nova? I mean, he just wanted it for the attack speed, jeez. Come on, give him a break. He wasn't trying to hit anyone. It's 10 and 1. Wraith King has 5 CS right now, boys. 5 CS. Getting a little bit of a shit kicked in right now. It's fine, it's fine. XM playing in under his tower. Somnus now level 3. Well, you know, as it gets to about level 5 or so, he should be able to uh, brutally harass this Magnus. X Nova looking for stacks. 58, 59. Doesn't make the stack happen. But they go for the pull through here. Actually, stop going off. S Triple C throws forward those skelly boys. The Light Striker rate keep Yang Gang at bay, but Yang Gang, a powered up machine right now. The Bloodseeker with the movement speed. God, I hate the new Bloodseeker, man. My XM hasn't empowered the Wraith King yet. Um, because that would push the Wraith King's lane and actually be bad for him right now. Man, I miss when, when Blood Rage gave you, uh, when Thirst gave you damage. You know, you would, you would attack kind of slow, you know, but you'd hit for like 400 damage. It was beautiful, it was beautiful. Yeah, the great thing about Lion and uh, Bloodseeker is you can see them, right? When the uh, when they're hurt, when they're hurting. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Ding, 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 ding. Shadowing each other. It's like Hunt for Red October. They're in the river. They're in the water right now. Somnus. Oh, Fade. He denies the illusion. No refill for you, maybe. Up top, still fighting, huh? Denied. Excuse me.
OFY. Oh, S triple C finds the kill. Very nice, very nice pick up there. Gonna give him a little bit of chill time and get some CS. He's building up magic stick charges. He's got six wand charges. G. No stick, wand. Cool Monty wand. Very cool, very cool. The refraction level three already. Side blades level two. Magnus. Yeah, if you're not having the best time in lane, just stack him. Nice, nice. Gets the stack, gets the bounty rune, secures it for the boys. Red Panda gonna take this one bottom up top. Leon. Dude, you're getting three bounty runes over on Elephant. The dead Lena, no way out for her. Now, what's the CS looking like now? 28 and 8, 36 and 5 for Magnus. I think some of these are, uh, yeah, some of these are jungle seed. Power of Magnus Empowerment. Uber Lord TPing back to the lane. Why is Uber Lord TPing back to the lane? Out. Oh. Dead for that long, was he? What's Magnus doing? He's getting intercepted by the lion. Once again, the rune will be denied. Unless it's bottom, it's bottom. Jeeves is double damage. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Level six, maybe. He's ready to go harm. The harmoning, it's about to happen. Oh, FY coming in. Red Panda ready with the fire blast. XM. Oh, here comes the fire blast. There's no escape. They've got him locked down for infinity times infinity. He can't even move under his own tower. The fortification come through just now. It's going to be kind of annoying for the old CSing, but that's fine. It's fine. Here across from Fade as he tries to defend the tower. Look at the digs that were going in on the tower here right now. He okay, bloodlusted up. Jesus, 250 damage. Let's go. It looked like Fadebolt gave him bonus damage there. What? Alright, alright, Fade is dead. Nice. Now XM. Mm, Skewer and RP under the tower. Under the tower. Somnus. Oh, cheeky fortification play Red Panda. He is going to squeak out of there on 26 HP. But they do take down Somnus. He's worth a measly 176 gold. I come Underlord and Rubik lose lane. Well, the great thing about Slark is every time he hits you, he gets bonus agi. Oh god, look there's a leap forward, Red Panda. This rotation's perfect. Chalice gonna go down again. Permanent agility. And Paparazzi's already level six. Oh boy, oh boy, I hope I bet an elephant. Oh boy, I hope I bet an elephant. Yeah, so basically, Uberlord's a great person for Slark to fight. What it does is it reduces Slark's base, um, you know, it reduces his attack damage because of the uh, aura, right? So it just means he can hit you more. Uh, maybe? Are you are you okay there, sir? Yes, Red Panda gonna come over, give him the bloodlust. Is that where the damage came from? Where did he get all that extra damage before? It must have been the bloodlust. Look, it's... Oh, it's the diffraction shield, you idiot. It's like, how's he getting plus 100? Nice light striker rabbit. Here comes S triple C. He's making the rotation for this. Maybe he knows it's a problem. The Underlord, though, holding him in place. This is a four man gank. Now looking for Red Panda. It's a five man gank. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Punished. But I mean, what is this doing in your lanes right now? That's an impressive amount of firepower brought to bear on that high ground. And it's leaving Slark and Yang to uh, lead their best lives here. Yeah, Uber really excels in lanes like against like the Beastmaster, against like the Phantom Lancer, people who've got illusions, people who've got like extra bodies in there that aren't particularly high damage. Uber Lord probably shits on like a Broodmother, right? Okay, we've got the silence set up. S Triple C, the suckening, it's happening, it's happening. Somnus is here, the, the life though, he'll pop it off. 
Eat himself a mango. He did go for the rupture. Now yo, Charles with the rotation. Yang Gang's dead. That's the dead Yang strat. Now he's starting to get powered up. Red Panda going to join him. That's a light strike array. He gets chased away. They're silenced forever. It feels like S Triple C saves the stun. S Triple C saves the stun. Okay. Ten minute bounty just coming up. Chase XM away. I mean, XM is one of the guys that could actually, like, like we say, with the RP, it's got the tools to deal with stuff, right? Lena, you've got the tools. Oh, regeneration rune for Somnus. He be the one. Will he be the one to get it, Jeez. Well, he will. Nice, nice. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the jungle, XM farming up the ancients. Very nice, very nice. Up top, let's go, Red Panda. 200 HP, getting a cheeky old ring of regen, gonna get those tranquil boots. Oh, dude, I bet e home first 10. Well, you know, you must be sweating right now. Six on six, the kills right now. It'll trade a route. But the problem is, let's talk about the problem. It's Slark, guys. Slark is a problem. One, zero, and one. Two stolen RG already. He's level six. They haven't touched him. He's building defusal. He wants to shit on Wraith King before he gets level 20. What's Yang Gang building? He's building a Hood. Chalice, I imagine he's going Atos, which he is. Right, T8. Now, this one always is a surprise for me. What's it going to be first? Is it going to be the Death or is it going to be the Blink Dagger? Yeah, that's Triple C. They know. Smoking. Oh, X Nova with a pause. Oh, the whole gang is here. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, is everyone using the different headsets and mics on the LAN? It's like, you know, um, COVID and shit. Oh, they go for the rupture on the Lena. The silence comes through into the finger blast. Ooh, the stinky pinky for Lena. Steal, what did he steal? The silence? No, oh, the blood rage. Worst possible ability. That's fine, but they'll get Red Panda in return. Not a bad trade, not a bad trade. 7 for 7. E home, big G, big G. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Big G, boys. Big G. Welcome to China. Seven and seven, boys. Seven to seven. First to ten K betters are sweaters. Charlie's. He's got the arcane boots. Fade has arcane boots. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Rolling in here with two point seven K net worth. Ah, it just feels awful, man. I guess with armor, it's kind of good, though, right? It's good once you're uh, once you're online with Wraith King, you're right, you're right. Like, you got your armlet, you got your blood rage, you can definitely hit tires and shit with that. What's the attack speed on even level 1? It needs to be super high, right? Oh, nice, get the Lena kill. Um, plus 50? Meh. Plus 50 attack speed and it drains your fucking... It drains your health. How much does Alacrity do? Wait, max health per damage per second. What? Oh, to yourself. To yourself. Only 25 for allies? Yeah, that's fucking garbage to your mom. How much does a locker you give you? Wraith King looks nice. Alright, he's, he's digging in on the tower. Here comes the silence. Yang Kang with the defense. The rupture goes out on S Triple C. Chalice is here on the other side. Red Panda, they're in on top of him. There we go, the fire blast. The lot dropping down the firestorm. Uros going forward. He pops off the out. The RP! Oh, they're doing so much AoE damage. Now the silence coming through from Fade. That's a dead Slark. That's a dead Yang Gang. E Home fighting back right now. Gonna try and take the tier 1 tower. Nay, they'll chase FY. The light strike Ray catches on body. Now the lift up into the drop down. He's dead. Double kill for X Nova. Yeah, skeleton king. And that's the problem with the Slark, basically. But it's RP. You know, the cooldown is a minute and a half. 
It's garbage, dude. You could just get a Joker and cast Alacrity. The bonus is the, um... The bonus for this is the damage. The real ability is for spell damage, right? Spell up of 30%. But they don't really have anyone that it, it gels with here. There's no one who's really going to be throwing down the spell damage. Yo, LPC crawling 1403. How are you doing, dude? GTA's items. Well, we want to know if she went blink. She went blink, right? So she's got blink. She's got double damage bottled up here. Kill this tower. Ease clap. And then he's going Deso. Nothing unusual there. I mean, it's Blink, Deso, BKB. The only question is whether you build Deso or, or Blink first. That's the only question. Lion, actually. Lion is good. Lion is super good for the finger damage. That's a good point, actually. All right, the fire blast. Fire blast could be okay as well with a multi cast. There's the Laguna Blade. Udo's trying to get his ass out of there. Lena's already dead though. Pop up, pop up. Now what's up? Plus four. Plus four stolen. Um, Ag permanently. Stolen game. Oh, lag. A bit of lag, lads. A bit of lag. On on uh, online, but we're getting lag. Um, no, I think once it's leveled up, like once it's leveled up, it's eight second cooldown, so it's not too shabby, and it lasts for, only lasts for eight seconds now? Oh. Oh. I hate Bloodseeker, Blood Rage, and Iron Man. It lasts for five days, and, uh, you know, it did eight million damage, healed you when you killed your enemies, killed your enemies when they killed you. It's like the, it was like a, a double-edged sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could put it on you and the creep that you were hitting for double the heal. There was so much niche to it, man. Why you gotta take away all the good toys, Ice Frog? Why you gotta simplify this shit? That was the whole point of it, though. It was the ability to break Lincolns. Like, oh, I have Rapture. Cool, well, I'm gonna build a Lincolns. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice 3,000 gold item, bro. Pop. I love it when the Lotus Orb you as Bloodseeker. You end up rupturing yourself. And then uh, you pop your blade mail and you run around and kill them with their own rupture. Well, it made him actually a not too bad position four as well, right? Because you could just buff the carry when he was taking CS and then he would heal. Fine. Multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, and then Ice Frog gives us this instead. Oh, you can buff your Zeus now. Yay. And you could buff your Zeus before, but there was a range thing. So does it half the spell damage increase as well? Hang on guys, my ears really you Okay, we're Gucci, let's get back to it. <clears throat> it does cost mana as well. Oh my god. Just get me out. Camera, please. We're missing important non-action, Jeeves. Non-action happening right now. Red Panda, he's got the Tranquil Boots online. No problemo. FY, he's got an Altali. He's got himself a uh, energy booster building into Aetherlands. Can't do T-Tours if there's no kills missed, guys. I'm missing farming, exactly. Very important farming happening right now. Hey, Grandma Ruby, what's up? What's up? Don't give me T tiers. Stop giving T tiers for no reason, guys. Come on, we count the T tiers in this stream. That's three T tiers, and we haven't even missed a kill. Sons of bitches. They're all smoked up, looking for some action, but what are they doing? Just getting down some early vision, I guess. Vampire Fangs, he just won the lottery. He's gonna use them for just now. Yes, yes. All right, that's it, you guys. I'm hiding an observer for the next game. Mm, nice start to the catch. Fade with the lift of telekinesis. Throw in the stolen. Oh, killed him with his own spell. Killed him with his own spell. Fade gone. Yes, ignite the ass. Wait, I hear stuns. 
just firing creeps, Jeeves. He's just firing creeps. Don't worry. Don't worry. So Paparazzi, how's the progression going there? He's got the Fusal Blade going into BKB. Really like this. It's going to allow him to fight super early, especially to what's there. Bloodseeker already finished a full pipe. This item costs 10,000 gold now. 10,000 gold. The Desolator's done for TA. 18 minutes in. They can certainly set up for an early rush here. Hey, Strewn on the river. Who's going to get it? Who's going to be? FY. FY scouts it out. He picks it up for himself. Okay. He's, here we go, supersonic mode. Where's he gonna go, though? Handsome, thank you for the follow. Speak friend and enter. Keep it clean, keep it PMA. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. No live odds. I mean, FY's all haste up here. What's he gonna do with it? He could have given this to his TA. And it's done. Good, good. We're hell and back and back again. He went there three times. Didn't you see? He is the Flash. He is the Flash. Okay, Somnus. A little bit of a deadly push here. I mean, can he get on top of him? XM, Blink Dagger in hand. Three seconds cooldown. I mean, Somnus can just blink away. They did, I mean, chosen lane, so Somnus going to back off. I don't think he'd have went any further anyway. Honestly. I don't think he would have gone any further, though. As Triple C's farming up, he's got the armlet. His BKB's done now as well. A lot of iron progression and not a lot of action. Jeeves, it's 20 kills in 20 minutes. That's a lot of action. Sorpogi. How's it going, my dude? Where is everyone from today? I came here today because I like the Yang Gang. It's Gang, dude, not Gun. Yang Gun. Yang Gun. Yang Gun. Oh shit, they're smoked up. They're on the hunt. The posse, the e-home are hunting. What can they do here? They can wrap around behind the TA. The pings are coming out. Red Panda's in the way. He's going to tank the gank. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? No, he couldn't TP out. Now that leaves Somnus up here by himself. He's blinking in. He knows. He knows. He's out of there. He's out of there. I mean, it's pretty good. They'll secure the bounty runes. Downstairs, the bounty runes. Not going to get looped up for now. Counter smoke, counter smoke. There's Slark, he goes forward. Nice, nice stun combo. That's a pretty dead Lena. Now Yang Gang's on the hunt forward, looking for one more. Chalice already popping the out. Can he kill him in time? Oh, the lift up from Fade, and they'll both get taken out of there. Nice Uber. I rate it four out of five. Four out of five. Driver wouldn't stop talking about the underworld. Demons and shit. Nice transition into a super fast Roshan with the Blood Rage, Somnus, he's able to do the damage, wait, Skelly Boy, he wants to come over and have a look at this, he pings out the trap here, wait no, it's actually Lion that's pinging out the trap, he says use it, use it, I mean they don't really want to take a fight here right, because Wraith King is feeling pretty fresh with the armlet and the BKB online, Gang, gang, he's gonna build uh, Heaven's Halberd. Um, I mean, they only really have one right clicking core, I guess. It's gonna be pretty good against the Wraith King. Extra evasion's nice as well, but I mean, big story here, Mr. Paparazzi. What's his next item? I think it's done, right? Here with 800, 900 gold, but coming on the courier. That's the Red Panda's courier. He doesn't have another right. Okay. I mean, at night, you're pretty much king, right? With the Slark, it's pretty good. They're back in the Roche bit, trying to take it down. Like I say, Somnus can deal with this pretty quickly with the uh, the old refraction stacks of the Desolator. His BKB's timing is coming along nicely. Slark is just running around. Uh, I mean, you have complete control of the actual wards as well. Yes, yes. I mean, El I mean Elephant have got this super fast run at you draft. Um, literally all they have to do is just perform what their heroes are supposed to do, right? They'll go in, fight, get stacks on Slark, push lanes, win games, right? For E-Home, you still have this wombo combo set up, you go for the RP, you've got the Pit of Malice, you've got the Firestorm, you've got the Light Strike Array, Laguna Blade, Skelly Boy to clean up, and Fade just to steal whatever he wants, right? They have a wombo comp, so like, there's no like, oh right, elephant are so far ahead that they can't lose now. You get the wombo combo off, they're all dead. Or at least a good number of them. 
And Slark just completely untouched his B1 and 2. I mean, he did die with the RP, but his pace has not been slowed at all. His pace has not been slowed at all. Wraith King going for Assault Kuras next. Like this, we love this. Templar Assassin already with the death later online to have some margin of softening that. Softening the flow. Hit the sting of the Desolator a little bit. Let's have the BKB finished though, waiting for it to be delivered. That's it, it's been handed in. They're coming back, those Skelly boys are getting up. There you go, pew! Well, that was, that was what, 20 gold? 20 gold, big stonks, big stonks. Lena dead again, finger blasting magic. 100% of the kills, 100% of the time, guys. Not a single actual real tier two, tier, not a single actual real T tours, by the way. Panda with the tranquil boots done. He's got a ring of Bassi, cheeky Bassi, no problemo. XM for Echo Saber. He feels so far behind. He's on 10k Jeeves. He's not that far behind. I mean, he's mo mostly here as a buff ball, right? He's here to buff S triple C. And Fade, I guess the best thing Fade can steal is the Blood Rage. Towers melting, are melting, are melting. Down it goes. No real point in defending that, but they will hold for tier 2. Now the smoke coming from E-Home, see if they can get a counter initiation on here. They want to keep the, uh, right, stunt the snowball a little bit. I mean, they've got a lot of lockdown here, man. Oh, the fire blast forward, Lion! He's off to hell, but he'll be back, guys, don't worry, he'll be back, he'll be back again. Yang Gang looking for a cheeky TP out, they can't stop that, no problemo. Carlos now with the cross done, dude. If he got close enough, he could have stopped that. It's one of the best changes I like, actually. Uh, the change to Rod of Atos that stops TPs now. Very cool, very cool. Oh, where'd he go? It's magic. Bling. Oh shit. Um, hmm. Hmm. A little bit of tower pressure. Lena dead in mid again. Wait, is she though? Yep. Yep, yep. She's dead. She's dead. Another stinky pinky. She was like, aha, I have Ghost Scepter. What now, bitches? And then takes like extra finger damage. <laughs> <laughs> T tours, what did I miss? Oh, Yang Gang died. You're right, you're right. I did miss Yang Gang dying. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. It happened at the same time, though, so I don't really think it's my fault, honestly. Yeah, this happened exactly the same time. Yeah, Luke, come on. A half a second. What do you want me to do? Yeah, but when two fights happen at the same time, dude, you can't cover both of them. And the Stinky Pinky was way better than the RP for the Bloodseeker, let's face it. I mean, how much damage does Lion have now? Oh yeah, it's just a bonus 120 damage, boys. Just a casual 120 bonus damage. All right, coming back in here, XM, Red Panda. He's on the front line here. He's looking for a Fire Blast target. It looks like uh, Rubik has Refraction right now. Oh, this is a pretty good catch. The Atos coming in good, but they don't want to go in too hard. He has his BKB, 10 seconds. He's got double damage bottled up here. Building nullifier. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. 25 kills in 26 minutes. Yeah, this game is boring. Oh, Laguna actually getting something done there. They'll get Red Panda down, but neither chase down comes in. Chalice is already dead. S Triple C is looking for Euros here. Can't quite get a hold of him. Yang Gang going in there, and oh, Euros actually gets the CS on the tower. Silence for Cell and King. And they're just, like, they're just taking them apart. So, like, by death by a thousand cuts. You know, they go in, they slice down a hero, they take down a tower, back off, rinse, repeat. Aegis is on cooldown. How many minutes, Jeeves? Two minutes, 26 before Roche spawns, plus or minus three. No, that's not right. Plus up to three, I guess. I 
I don't think Ehome can come back from this 4k net worth deficit. 4k net worth deficit, it's too much. Too much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got the plus Aji. You got first to 10 kills, by the way. Infinite scaling cores, he says. Infinite scaling cores. You guys have a very small perception of what infinity is, huh? <laughs> e home got it. Nice, nice. But yeah, it does feel like there's a peak timing here. I mean, I think they've kind of peaked past the peak timing for the Templar Assassin though, right? 25 minutes is when you're like, godlike. Um, so maybe things, maybe things start to swing a little bit. Yeah, 30. Too many to count. Too many to count. Stop the count at 30, guys. Stop the count at 30. Oh, I like this. I like this. A little bit of extra map control. Look at this. Look at this. They all bang up. In fact, that's even wrong. It's like this. And they got a little bit of they got a little bit of extra here, which is soft. Essence ring gonna get swapped out. Who did you give the essence ring? Because oh, he got this beastly paladin sword. All right, into the smoking. Let's go. They're trying to cut around the back side here. Looking for Red Panda plus Uros plus Yangang. S Triple C leading the way here with uh, the Bloodlust. What a mess. Do 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 do. It would be great if he had his abyss already, but this is just a wasted rotation. I feel like. Get the outpost back. Actually, very good timing for this outpost. That's what the whole plan was. They, I mean, kills are nice and all that, but yeah, get that EXP bump just before the five seconds are up. 30 minute mark, get the bounty runes as well, very nice, very nice, but downstairs, Yang Gang, Somnus and uh, FY, gonna scoop two here, does allow them to actually come around and swing for this one if they want, Charles gonna get it, Charles is on the case, he's like surprised, he's like, hey, bounty rune here, Hey, Chiru. Oh, the nullifier's done on TA. Damn, son. Damn. Wait, are they both getting nullifier? No. Satanic coming for Slark. And he's not far off either. So, I mean, you lose your tier 1 tower. That's not too much of an issue, let's face it. They're trying to trade for tier 2 now with the Bloodlust. No problemo. No problemo. He's down. Roche is up, though. Ooh, we want to go for the cheeky Roshan here. They've got the trap in the pit though. S Triple C has a little face check of it, but they say, nah, not right now. Uh, he has the defusal. So I think it's more a case of just keeping them slow, keep them in place. They got Red Panda. They got the Lion as well. It's a lot of lockdown. Jesus, the finger bat lasting action. Lena. You know, normally the one doing the finger blast, and she's now been, I think, blasted four times. Yeah, they see the trap. They can't really take it right now. TA's ultra far back here, close to where they could be. Initiation, Yang Gang, he's all smoked up. Is he smoked? Yeah. Yeah, the finals are after this game. Best of three and a best of five. Long day for, um, Elephant. Okay, Atos catch on the low ground, but he'll leap away. He was ready for that with the dark pack going back in. Now Somnus starting to drop some hardcore damage. Charles is getting chunked down. Uros, he's in there, but he's getting slapped up by the, the Slark. Look at all the stacks. First life down, and this is the perfection of Slark versus Raytheon because he's already got 20 and a half. He's just dead. Already 30 stacks, you know. Oh, Yang Gang ending, ending Fade's dream there. It's fine. Go back for the Roshan, maybe.
I mean, they I mean they can take the tower, they can try for buy box. There are no buy box from the cool light here. The fortification gonna hold them at bay for a few seconds, but paparazzi plus a hunt. <laughs> 102 agility right now. Practically a divine rapier. His satanic is finished, by the way. He's going back for the BKB, the silence to keep them protected. Go back, get the Roshan. Everything, just they're just crossing the T's, dotting the I's. Everything's just coming up trumps for Elephant right now. Like, very, very smooth execution. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing to execute here, right? You just simply play the hero, push lanes, murder heroes, take roaches, win games. That's it. There's no, like, tactical movement, there's no cooldowns, there's no, C there's no CDs to worry about, you know? And even Rubik doesn't have much to steal. Like, what's he gonna steal? The Fire Blast, the Ignite, the Rupture, the Silence? Like, there's no, like, oh my god, he stole this, you know? No mines. Yeah, elephant loving this. They're like, this game's gonna be over by 45 minutes, boys. No 94 minute slog today. EA takes an easy tower top, completely uncontested. E home. They're trying to play defensively. You know, they're trying to play as five. That's not really helping them out. The Abyssal Blade is coming for Wraith King. He already has Basher. All Bloodseeker spells are good for Yeah, but they're not, they're not like, it's not like, oh my god, he stole the RP. Or, oh my god, he stole the Black Hole. You know, it's like, oh my god, he's got the Blood Rage. Meh. Oh my god, he got the Science. Meh. Yeah, yeah. How do you even kill the Slark? Oh, here's initiation. Fade, he's probably gonna die. Wait, there's an RP. Well, we're about to get your question answered. He pops off the ult. He'll keep himself alive. He didn't RP, Jeeves. Did not RP. Still available. Still available. That double damage on Magnus. Doing work. Doing work. They take down Red Panda. What's the timer? 35 minutes. Boundary runes are available. I like this move from Dire. They maybe can try and get something back. S triple C shows in the lane. The assault cuirass is done. The basher's done. Just needs abyssal. Very close to Vanguard. Titan sliver. Who's got Titan sliver? Oh, Slark got it. Okay, okay. Charles is just here. He throws out the Lotus Orb. Um, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Can they focus him if they use every one of their lock guys? They can, right? They can kill him at least once, but then he's got his BKB when he comes back, so. Killing the whole team doesn't really work out either, because then you've got Monster Slark with like plus 60 RG uh, stolen, so what's that? 180 damage or more? Badman. Oh yeah, and then if he does, if they do damage him and don't kill him, he just runs away for a few seconds, comes back. When he gets back to the fight, he's feeling pretty stompy. He's feeling pretty goddamn strong. High ground defense, yeah, they got the RP, they got the Light Striker Ray, they got this uh, Firestorm, they got the Pit of Malice, Fade Bolt, Skelly Boys, the, uh, the Stun, it's all strong. Yeah, he's got Royal Jelly, boys. That's literally providing zero health regen and zero mana, apparently. He's got Basher instead of BKB. Mm, I mean, he's not really been in too many fights, right? He's literally 2-2-9. Two, two, and nine. Like that Basher would have paid off too much. BKB always gives you the chance to guys. He's looking for Monkey King Bar now because... Oh, because Butterfly on TA. Oh, look at this TA. 27k net worth right now. Maybe, baby, let's go. Alright, keep an eye on the Slark, Jeeves. Keep an eye on the Slark. Endless Relic. Oh, 37 minute items getting selected, getting collected. I don't think they can get out either, right, on e-home just now to uh, to pick up these items. So it's going to be a pretty much free reign for uh, Somnus to pick them up. Yeah, we got Princess Knife, a Magic Lamp, one more. Is that all four? 
Yeah, the, the Timeless Relic. Oh, Leveler for... Oh, my. Oh, my. The Leveler on Slark now. Oh, GG. <laughs> I just, yeah, the last pick, Wraith King. Could have gone Nag, I guess. I don't know if that helps you, though. Alright, the Aegis expires. Clark with the Arcane Rune, so he's got double alt. Feels good, man. What's the CD on this bad boy, anyway? 60 seconds, so 45 seconds, right? Naga not good against Bloodseeker? Eh, it's not bad. Bloodseeker hates to be pinned down. The net is really fucked to this day. The, the PA, though? Yeah, Slark was... The, the last pick Slark was the real... Was the real mind game. Yeah. The last pick Slark was what won the game. You know, he's not exactly ultra meta, but with everything else banned, the two big tanky cores that he can man fight and steal a stacks from... Why didn't they pick the PA? Um, I think they're worried about uh, the Lion, right? The Lion plus the Fire Blast, so PA needs to go super early BKB, then they still have the Rupture. I just don't think they felt threatened by that PA at all, but I feel like, yeah, PA with BKB, Desolator, uh, Battle Fury. He'd be in the play. Mask of Madness PA? No. I think there was some fear over the TA, right, as well. Yeah, I mean, if TA goes Monkey King Bar, then... Or, I mean, she won't go Monkey King Bar, she's more likely to go Bloodthorn. Oh, wait, this is a good catch, though, but wait, he can't get a hold of him? No, Slark held in place by the... I guess the lift, the drop down there. Was there a net, maybe? I didn't and stop him with the fire blast. Yeah. Got a malice, did he? Oh. Doesn't need battle fury with Magnus. Uh, it's mid Magnus though, and the mid Magnus tends to be a, a, a little bit lazy about empowering cores. You kind of still sometimes see it. Well. But yeah, I agree, I agree. You can go for just straight up there. So BKB, S Triple C, the first light's down. Doesn't matter. Look at this. Here, Ross, he's back up. The BKB coming out. What's his plan? He's going to try and TP out. It's not happening. He's down. He's done. 84 seconds on the sideline. No buyback. Now they go forward. Rupture up on Fade. Fade finger blasted. Now X Nova gets silenced up into the Ravage. The Earth Spike from FY doing massive damage here. And there's GG. Game one. Going the way of Elephant. Very easily executed drop from them. Literally, just do what you do, or run them down. RP? RP? Yeah, I mean... Didn't get anything with the RP. What, did he RP the ground? What did he even RP there? Yeah. Airball it. Nice, nice. MVP for me. Um, I mean, I have to say, Red Panda and Elephant and, yeah, and FY's movements were really spectacular in that game. FY in particular, always in the right place at the right time. The super value Aether Lens, getting those stinky pinkies off early. Um, basically, these two heroes controlled the tempo for uh, the stuns, because these guys, they don't have any stuns, right? So you, they, they can kill people, sure, but these guys are there. They lock them down. Give it to the supports this game round, guys. Double MVP supports. And uh, yeah, what a what a what a straightforward draft. Like no no Houdini tricks, nothing special there. Literally just kick the shit out of the enemy, get strong, win game. Real good play, real good play.
Well, the little elephant who could get one secure damn elephant actually if they're just too old e home here I'm I'm scared for Aster man. I'm scared for Aster. Aster have been looking pretty goddamn good as well uh, I'll give them 10 minutes now give them 10 minutes and one and done right pair the bets Chiefs. pair the bets All righty, everyone that bet on the little elephant has been awarded. That's Evil Works Clash Jaeger with 8.9k, John Kia with 7.5k, Us Nivera with 2k, Shadow One with 10k, Mojins with 200, Nigel Tan with 334, Swarm Missile with 282, and Shman Chan Dax with 480, Jeeves Dota TV with 5k, Peglick Stream with 20k, and Shao Han 888 with almost 12k. Light work for the, the, the Turk, man. He doesn't need any, uh, doesn't need any, uh, any incentive for this one. Um, well, got, well done, guys. The Rickest Ricks among us. I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'll be right back. Who do I think will win? It's on the draft. These teams can clearly go toe to toe with each other, but that draft was pretty force. Yeah, Mongoose is on the Discord, man. Huh? On the Discord. 6 out of 10 in the lobby. Good to go.
The boys, Christmas is only in two weeks. What? Nine out of ten, boys. Nine out of ten. On the Jeeves.tv stream, it's Christmas every day. Now here it is. Merry Christmas. Time for all those annoying songs to be stuck in your head. Nah, I'm pretty sure if he's a vegetarian, he'd have told us about it by now. You are? You're always trying to feed me burgers, dude. No animals die for that. Or did you only just become, did you only just convert to bed? My sister's like a vegan. Yeah. My sister always gets super pissed off though. You know when she's like, okay, and this is this. Alright, she's like, and this is this. And I'm like, like, what's it supposed to be? What's it pretending to be? She's like, stop saying that. It's just a type of food. Like, is it supposed to be chicken? <laughs> Oh, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading. Oh, they you baited me, bro. Medical? Oh. I mean, I honestly think eventually we'll all be vegetarians. Or we'll eat lab grown meat. Funny. You're either in or you're out. Make your choice up right now. happening here all right where where are all the people were the lower bracket finals this is the hypest shit of the day surely what's this
Yo, seven, eight, nine in the house. Yo, guys, 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 guys. We need to have a talk. The mod team, that is. Yesterday, I had to cast a 94-minute techies game with no mods. Everyone bailed. What's that about? It was Zinku Tacky 79. It was pretty hype. It was pretty hype. Uh In hype turkeys games at 6 a.m. <laughs> they had Sven and they lost to a Terror Blade with 75,000 net worth. Yeah, it only took him 94 minutes to counter him. You're right. It was a hard counter. A hard counter. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the China Dota Pro Cup Season 2. It's the lower bracket semi-final. Elephant looking ascendant as they take down E-Home in the first game there. I am General Jeevicus the Draft. Coming thick and fast. Goodbye Undying. Goodbye Io. Goodbye Slardar. Goodbye Rubik. Hello, Mars. Hello, Lena. No, Ame threw like three times, Peggle. Oh, you could have won the game. Oh man, Rick, there's only ten seconds left to pick a hero. Yeah, with the um. Um, you 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 better pick your hero. Five seconds. No, I think they're just a little bit defeated after losing their last game to Aster. If they pick techies, please stop streaming. Nobody will pick techies in this game, dudes. That's only PSG LGD. Clockwork. Okay, okay. It's Dry Ranger the Elephant are looking for. So we'll get the Life Stealer super early for S Triple C. Yeah, drive for elephant is the plan. Oh man, there was this one awesome save though where Terrorblade goes in, he gets hook shotted by Faith Beyond, who's on three clockwork, right? Comes flying in, Zeus is dropping the bombs, he's dropping the alts. Sven is coming in with a Superman Sven. And there's like a Mars Arena down, right? And Phoenix eggs and pulls the Terror Blade in and saves him. Oh my god, 85 minute save is beautiful. Uh, so they ban out the Bloodseeker, take out the Morphling. What, are we looking for Granny next for Elephant, right? Oh, the bets are 15k on this, guys. 15k is the max bet for this series. Bye, Pa. Oh, man. Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero. Yeah, there's five seconds left now.
PSG and VG Gaming just out. Taken out. Or the big guns come online. Game discussion was an epic league also. Yeah, I mean, uh, you go 90, you go 94 minutes, it ain't no joke. Go to 94 minutes, it ain't no joke. The Aries got an appreciation thread for his uh, his paid casting at BTS. Very nice. Thanks, boys. Appreciate. Uh, Faceless Void, get rid of the Doom. TikTok, we're on the clock. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Ban that dry. Make them take the Arc Warden. Maybe they're okay with the dry, though. Maybe get on the back line. They need a vehicle for life stealer. To the golden time, the thinking time, they'll ban the troll warlord. Okay, okay. What are you going for? Earth spirit here? Sven. How can they pick Sven? What you think, Sven for elephant? Storm spirit. I want the earth spirit. Storm is good as well, like. Terra Blade. No, this is dry for elephant, I think. Yo, Freddy, my guy. How's it going, dude? Radiant team pick. Night Stalker. Okay, okay, okay. This is some serious. This is some serious Pine Town. You, you, you really got to pick a hero. You got 10 seconds. Some good left. catch. Some good catch. Get on that back line. You better pick your hero. So no matter what Mars and Clockwork are throwing down, Night Stalker could just fly over up the Dark Ascension. Oh, that's a very Irish thing to say. That's deadly. Ready for more Chinese dotes? Miss game one. Leaving in the e home draft, eh? When I build a new PC next week, guys, I need to. Uh, I ordered a new PC 789, uh, not 789, Shadow One. 1,400. 1,400. Um, I need to transfer all my shit, though. I want to keep from one computer to that. Revengeful Spirit. Pounds, yes. 1,400 pounds. Everything was out of stock. I had to get last generation's technology, so I went with a... Uh, 10 seconds to pick um, 3,900. And an XT 5,700 5, XT. 32 gigs of RAM, which is coming from America, so good luck getting that anytime soon. Even went for a cheeky NVMe. Yeah, NVMe for the boot drive. Come on, Radiant team, you gotta pick them right. 
into a wyvern. Yeah, I wanted a 5600, man, but I just, there was nothing in stock. Literally nothing is in stock anywhere right now. And even the prices, I think I paid over for the graphics card on the CPU. It's, everyone's trying to get it right now. Locked down, right? Drow Ranger, as predicted, Jeeves, as predicted. Um, what is the purpose of the Winter Wyvern here? Yeah, I got the uh, 5700 XT, like this. Yeah, yeah. They're scalping on PS5s, they're scalping on Xboxes, they're scalping on the 3300 series, they're start scalping on the 6800s. 6800s graphics cards came out, man, and we didn't even get a look at them. But on the Earth Spirit, yeah, because real backline gore. I think they still go Storm, though, right? They have incredible lockdown on Elephant. They got the Silence, they got the Stun, the Swap, the Clock Block, the Mars Spear. You, you, you really gotta pick a hero. You got 10 seconds left. Nah, because Drow is going to be, um, Drow is going to be at range, right? She's going to have good positioning here. She's not going to be right next to these guys that get Winter's Curse, so it's probably not even going to affect her. It's pretty good lockdown for, uh, for everyone else, though. Oh, they ban the Storm Spirit. They ban the Oracle. Save would be nice. Can they still, I mean, they already have the Cold Embrace for the save. They're looking for a purge. Why do they want a purge? They're going to go... Wait. A mid hero that needs to be purged. They go the TA again and just fucking destroy them. Oh, they get the Ember. Oh. No, 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 no. You won't, you won't, you won't proc on your own unit. Or maybe you will, because it counts, isn't it? Ah, uh, Storm is banned, my dude. Storm is banned. Yeah, Ember's fine. I think I wanted uh, whatever I said more, though. I would have been okay with the Invoker as well, actually. It's like a little bit extra uh, alacrity for the Dry Ranger. Could have been good. Void Spirit. Oh, yeah, another one of these super close drafts, huh? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go. Game two, best of three, lower bracket final for Elephant. It's Yang Gang on the Mars, Red Panda on the Clockwork, FY on the Vengeful Spirit, uh, Paparazzi on the Dry Ranger, and Somnus on the Ember Spirit for e home Ekrem on the Void Spirit, Fade on the Winter Wyvern, Jealous on the Night Stalker, S Triple C on the Life Stealer, and X Nerva on the Lena. I am General Jeevacus. Let's get our data to on. Bang, 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 bang. Nobody believes. Wow. The elephant was one, right? Nobody believes in Ehom. Believers of Yaobe Ehom. Fuck it. Peggle, yeah, Peggle, you're with me. You're with me, bro. Blew some Jeev coins together. Exactly. That was more of a sarcastic bet, buddy, than uh, than a real bet. I think Elephant probably have the tools here. They got BKB piercing disables. Oh, I like um, Elephant better. Pack would have been pretty good, actually. Pack would have given them some uh, some playground, some play around movie. I'm curious to see how they use the uh, Winter Wyvern plus the Night Stalker. I think there's definitely play on that. Definitely. Play. All right, let's get into it, guys. What does the robot say? The robot, Kyle Bot, he's here with eight points draft advantage to Elephant. I mean, we got a Drive plus Vengeful Spirit. We got Clock plus Mars to clog up. 
the uh, to clock up their approach. Only one mango is on elephant, so Ice Frog is appeased. Not particularly happy, but you know, at least not mad right now. Yeah, there's definitely play to be made here. And it's fade on the Winter Wyvern, so I imagine super good positioning. Paparazzi with the Dry Ranger. He's got this weird-ass bow, right? Oh, no, he's got a different bow. I'm thinking of Mone. Yeah, I would like to see a Game 3. I'd like to see a Game 3. I wouldn't be super mad if it went 2-0. Wonderful. would be super pissed. I just hope the final, I just hope the final is not a 3-0. After last time, that was just, Jesus. PSG LCG just took them apart like it was nothing. Good blocks from both sides, but I think uh, XM gets it there. Yep, slight advantage to him. Where will the first murder be? So it's two melee versus Lifestealer. He likes this and Fade. Well, I mean, the battery assault is going to be a bit of a pain in the arse, but... Miles is against Aster. PSG LTD got taken out yesterday with a 94 minute game by Elephant. You could say it was close. I mean, it didn't feel too close for like the last 40 minutes. Then it felt like uh, PSG LTD were ascendant, but then Elephant just held their ground. A big bad daddy Terrorblade with 75k net worth, too much nice. Light Strike Ray, Chalice goes in, gives him a few right clicks. Bearing in mind it's still daytime, so this is good. Chalice is weak. Oh sh fuck. Alright, 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 whoa, 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 what? I ignored this lane, I was like, okay, these two bros, they're not gonna kill each other. Wrong, jeez. Let's have a look here. He got the level 2 early because of the block, right? Nice, Somnus, there we go, pull him in with the gaze, Somnus. Tried to make a fairy fire play, it was cute, but he just takes him down. How did he get so much damage on that last CS? Nobody knows, but god damn. God damn. A little bit of a misplay there, I think, by Somnus. Over over uh overextending his uh get a little bit overconfident. Yeah, I think he just got the highest roll on damage there. Cause like it felt like he still had two hits in him, right? Just blasted his ass. I have to keep an eye on this now because I could get out of control quite quickly. FSM, what's up, my dude? Open oh, wounds. Yang Gang trying to get away here throughout the God's Rebuke, but S Triple C not really rebuked actually. He, he still gets another right click in. Yang Gang pops off the salve back to the mid lane, make sure Somnus isn't killing himself. He's not good. Let's carry on down to the bottom lane here now. Nova versus FY. FY goes in with a stun, backs off because here comes Charlize. Night stalkering. He's daywalkering, Jeeves. Well, daywalkering. S Triple C in a bit of pickle. Oh, the clock shot, just to keep S Triple C on his toes. He does now pop off the salve. He's waiting for the clock shot there. Yo, Tinky Cat, 6 a.m., huh? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the house of fun. Tra la 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 la. He only missed one game. Only missed one game. Quick. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, after yesterday when uh, when uh, her boyfriend dumped her, very sad, very sad. Someone from chat uh, went and told her boyfriend she loves Jeeves more than her boyfriend, and uh, boyfriend wasn't happy. Bad times. 
Don't be snitches, guys. Oh, yes, yes. Thieves do a TV in the house. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing we don't have calm shoot today, boys. Right, let's go. S triple C. Yeah, at least you at least you thought about it. At least you thought about it. So XM, he's going on the hunt down here for the five minute bounties. The power rune was secured, of course. The invis. Here we go. Scoop it up. Very nice. Very nice. Clockwork, though. About three for uh, Ehome. Yep, they still got one to collect on the backside now as well. Nothing for poor Grishnak. Maybe a bit of a pickle here. Panda tries to rotate and comes in at the weird angle. It doesn't really help them out. 29 and 8 versus 29 and 5. Other than that kill, things not really going too shabbly for Somnus now in that mid lane. It's night time though, so Charles is going a little bit harm here in FY. The Dragon Slave to tickle his balls on the way out. That's a girl, Jeeves, not balls. Oh. Tickle is going odds on the way out. No. Oh. Shadow One is cleaning his smoker today, guys, because he has a $200 brisket. Gonna cook next weekend. Saddened by the short stream today. What? It's a best of five coming after this. What are you talking about? Well, the arrows, he's trying to catch X Nova. Charles comes in with the counter play. Fade is here. They've got the Arctic Burn starting to throw down some damage. Nice Dragon Slave. Dragon Slave, is that right? What's it called? It is, it is. Okay. FY with a stun. Holds Fade in place. Song is going to chase in right in on top of him. He's got a little bit of Flame Guard action. It's not really working. Charles now coming back in with a little bit of damage, but. Lockwork sitting mid right now. Red Panda, he's getting levels. And uh, XM, he's just chilling here. I mean, fairly successful rotation from the Amber, I would say. Denied. Not for you. XM getting strong, like Bull in mid lane. Yes, join the Jeeves Discord. That's right, guys. Follow me on Twitter. If I follow me on YouTube, give me them YouTube viewers. Give me them YouTube subscribers. It's free to subscribe on YouTube, lads. Free. Next level spoilers, 2-0 -oh, then 3-0, -oh. nah, nah, this is going 2-1 boys, 2-1. I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes, Somnus getting red. Oh, watch out Fade. Oh, what a god tier deny, did you see that guys, did you see that, want to see the replay? Oh shit, Edge Double C caught in the clock lock, nice, nice, Mars ready with the arena. The rage, they're waiting for him to use it, the spear, there's the rage, okay, now the chase down, eh, rotation from XM into the trees, the arena, it's no good, it's no good, pull back in with the gaze, Yang Gang overextending here, now Red Panda taking some action on the way out, another clock lock. Red Panda's down, Edge Double C takes the kill, Yang Gang gonna TP out. Good rotation by XM Chalice though. Feeling some frost arms, light striker ray will take the vengeful spirit down. X Nova making that play happen. Charles getting the kill. Fade on the back lines of this. Here comes the Ember. He's ready to run down some fools. Oh, juking around, juking around, juking up, juking down. Fade with the plays though. Nice, nice. The Winter's Curse. I mean, the, the Cold Embrace keeping himself safe for a few more seconds. Making some space. He'll get that vengeful spirit illusion. Now the arms from Drow. Saw this under the tower. He'll find him. Yo, Somnus, uh, yo, if Elephant just go like 5-0 for the day, that would be pretty fucking insane. Pretty insane. 200 hours almost, Tinky Cat. 200 hours. I bet that's more time than you spent with your boyfriend. Alright, so we're getting some neutral items flowing through now. Ironwood Tree, Broom Handle, Faded Brooch. 
Tinky has lots of coin. Tinky is rich. She is wealthy in the Jeeve coin. She's sh saving up, sa shaving up for a retirement. Mm? It's getting raunchy in here. All right, okay, okay, okay. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut the chat, cut the chat. I prefer laser. Silence, Light Striker Ray, the clock lock to keep him at bay. X Nova, he'll take down some cogs though. Look at this. Yeah, it's 40 gold there. Very high value. Now Charles is gonna pop the Dark Ascension. Red Panda, he's got nothing left to TP in from Yang Gang. XM is here now as well. So Yang says no, I'm Gucci actually. I changed my mind. I'm not coming. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty even as far as the net worth distribution. It's less than 1k between them. And look at this. It's course, 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 course. Now, Ranger actually the one furthest behind Som. This is in here. He's got himself an arcane rune bottled up. Looking for Fade, Daddy. Well, 8 versus level 4. Going to get the bounty runes as well. Doing a better job of securing bounties this time around. Oh, it's Courier. Oh, he's not interested. Here's zero about Courier's bottom tower is gone. Tier 1 successfully secured. Red Panda, the creep shot forward. He actually hits up on the creep here. Go for Chalice. Saw this with the karma in. The remnant play. The gaze. The gaze. They'll take down him. XM gets that Red Panda kill. Saw this now. Look for Fade and XM at the same time. A little bit outgunned here right now. But I mean, Fade is only level 5, so no Winter's Curse to slow him down. Is he going to back off, take some jungle camp? Sure is, up top. Now Venge with Yang Gang trying to take the tower down. Eh, Triple C sitting here. The defender. I'm going to buy Jeeves one day. Oh, wow. That's my super hot girlfriend. Oh, Jesus for sale. That's a nice spear, Psalm. This he got a rage to follow this up. Ooh, he does have open wounds as well. XM now with the TP in. Good counter play. Yang Gang. They'll drop the arena. He's got them both in here. The Winter's Curse coming in. Mars slapping down on Somnus. But Somnus is a thick boy right now. The stun coming through. That's a dead S triple C. XM, he's juking away the swap back in though. Oh, 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 magic damage, magic damage, magic damage, magic damage, magic damage. Oh, backside, Laguna Hitch comes in, does the old dirty finger finger on uh, on a Yang Gang. Yang Gang's dead. And they don't get XM. Oh, they did get XM. And Uros is here, so Fade's dead as well. The tower will swiftly fall. Chalice is like, hey, guys, you need me to TP top or are you good? <laughs> Wow, really clinical play from Elephant there, man. I am really enjoying watching these guys on LAN. It feels like a lot of the drafts that they had before um, just weren't able to execute without the, the communication, right? But now that they're all in the booth together... Yeah, he's like, I'm hitting creeps, guys. I'm hitting creeps. Dude, that clockwork looks a lot like the Earth Spirit with that staff when he's TPing in. The red panda, huh? I really like the way the four and the five will um, will change lanes, you know, on this team. But has red panda been four pretty much every game? I don't know, but they're waiting here at the Roshan. They're smoked up. Clockwork's on the high ground. Get a bit of vision down. And around the outside, round the outside, looking for clockwork. Clock will break the smoke. What a champ, what a god. There's the cogs. He gets XM in on top of Fade coming in from the side with the French tickler. Doesn't even need to use it. We'll throw it out on the creep instead. Dry Ranger's hiding back here in the trees. I mean, pretty good, pretty good. Basically, gank rotation comes through. Three-man gank. It gets taken out by Red Panda. No, I mean, that was that was great play by Red Panda there. Like, okay, he dies. That's kind of to be expected. But he tanks the gank. They see it. Dry Ranger's kept safe. She's doing Ancients right now. She's got a Dragon Lance online looking for Yasha. Domnus is going for Maelstrom. All right, all right. A little bit of a magic damage build. Interesting versus the lifesteal. Getting Dazzle. Mars. 
Anyone getting that so? I mean, there's a Yule's coming from Mars, FY. He's in here digging in creeps. He's got power shreds. Got one full one, to 10 charges. Hay stream for Somnus. XM has his Yule's finished already, building into that Ag Scepter. How's the farm for Estrable C going? He's, he's doing alright. He's got an arm like going for a death, so yeah, the damage build. Stan, the Yule's though, he was ready for that. Looking for a Duke out here. Duke away, nice gaze. Somnus farm about the gaze, boys. Don't it? Who would have thunked it? Oh, there was an arena at bottom, apparently. Well, that's the problem, right? You can't arena Chalice, you're just gonna Dark Ascension and fly out of it. It's about to be nighttime as well, so great time on this Dark Ascension. Carry the night! To carry the light away! Usher in the night! Bounties, bounties, bounties. Should be two for E Home. Should be two for Elephant. What about this one? Here we go. XM like a shark coming up the river here. Nice. He's got the gaze, but Yang Gang gonna dodge it. Pull himself to the side now. Fade. He's in a bit of an awkward position right now. Saw him this diving across here looking for Chalice. Actually gets him with the seeding chains as well. Holding the Night Stalker down in the middle of the night. Now Red Panda pulled back in by the gaze though. Murdered up. The clock block away. Down onto Chalice. Yang Gang. Go anything for your boy. The swap out. Keeping him alive. The spear comes through. The rage is already up on Astral Sea, so it won't connect. Nice stunt on the low ground, but look at this two man light striker raid. Charles gonna get in on top of poor old uh, who, Oh, wait, Somnus. This is the play by FY. The secondary swap, it keeps him alive for a little while longer. Laguna, now the spear comes through the searing chains to hold him at bay, but they'll still get him. No, they won't, Chiefs. He's out. Is he? Is he? No, double kill for XM. Now Red Panda is gonna fall under the force. Good arena. Yang Gang, Yang Gang. Triple kill for XM. Bye back on Somnus, he's back in here, he's going to try and clean up right now, this is pretty dangerous though, Dry Ranger comes over as well, throwing out some arrows, but XM protected by the Golden Brace for now, and Somnus maybe, he'll bring him down, now looking for three more, holy shit, look at this, look at this, now Uro's throwing in this ice arrows, S triple C, what a buyback from Somnus, turning it around, turning that frown upside down, but first of 10 kills will go E home. Yeah, ultra value, ultra value, ultra value. And look at this, these two are still decimated. Look, Charles, Charles, are you coming back into this? No. Healing up like a beast though, holy shit. 10 HP regeneration per second, he doesn't have any regen items. What is this? Is this regen? No. Alright, so Dry looking for Hurricane Pike, FY has a cheat nether shawl for now, looking for Vlad's extra bonus ultra um, buff for the Dry Ranger, can take him in, do earlier Roshan, they can already do Rosh though with the Wheel of Terror for sure, they got Clock or Mars to tank it. He's a beefy boy, he's a beefy boy. Yang Gang, he's got the Yule Scepter finished up, looking for Blink, looking for BKB. Fade, what's your what's your item, sir? Oh, cheeky, cheeky, going for the old Orchid build on Fade. Remember, he's four, so he can get away with this luxury. FY, nice, the jump is there, the block block on the back side, but too late for FY, he's already down, they try to save him, now the arrow's coming through, the spear on Chalice, throws him out of the arena, now the cold embrace, this time it's on Mar, oh, oh no, it's actually still on Somnus, okay, Laguna, he's still alive, oh, that was fucking clutch, oh, the essence ring play, they don't get the Somnus kill. And now they're still hunting, the TP out, Fade the only one left alive here, but the arrows from Dry will murder him, it's a triple kill for Papa. It wasn't Stick, it was Essence Ring, boys. It was Essence Ring. An elephant, they're just getting a little bit out of hand right now. It's a 3k net worth lead. What does the robot think? Robot is very elephant favored right now. Kyle bought, don't Google that shit. Oh, he hit stick as well. Stick as well, dude. What, at the same time? 
My fucking fog out of brain, I'll be like, uh, press this button, now press this button. You use the mouse, Jeeves? Yeah, bro. My problem is, I, my, my neutral item key is G. Right? My neutral item key is G, my wand is 2, and my ult is F. So I often press my neutral item or my ult by accident. Oh, there's a clock shot forward. You thought it was going to be two tours. Wrong. FY, though, will be contained by XM. He tries for the swap. Red Panda, he's stuck in amongst here, but in from the back lines comes Somnus once again. The Yules play to hold him in place. Into the gaze elsewhere. Yang's killing off X Nova, by the way. He's just going to harm here. He's trying to fight all three of them at once. Uros is here, starting to throw down the arrows. Hey, he starts running from S Triple C. The back line, Chalice, he's munching down on maybe's face right now. Up to the high ground. He tried for the S string play again. Didn't work out this time. It's three down. Now Uros coming back in. He didn't manage to finish off that life stealer, but they're still looking for kills. Oh god, XM on the high ground will be knocked down now. Wait, there we go. The life stealer popping out of Chalice. Uros, he's getting handled here, murdered up. Nice play by S Triple C. Super nice use of the infest there. FY is back here, the fight it continues, they will not slow down the temple, that's for sure, now the Dark Ascension, the pool, the FY back in, FY died, FY did you buy back? No, how is that candy stealing going for you bro, are you still stealing the candy from the baby? I don't know, that was a good god's rebuke, Red Panda's here now with the battery assault, Looking like a team wipe though. Oh, nice hook shot, nice hook shot! He'll still go down XM getting super low, but he will survive in the end. Look at this. Now that was an execution and a half. Look at that. Five for two. Beautiful. Beautiful. God damn, dude. He used the medallion of courage six times in that fight. Six times in one fight he used medallion of courage. the stream the better but what about Lorelei no I mean it I, I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back because it all comes down to this light st the light stealer play here look at this look at this look at this guys it's amazing it's like they forget he exists right I think that's far enough right so keep an eye on light stealer Because Uros comes in, he starts to pump the damage in. This is this is it, right? He starts to pump the damage into Life Stealer. He throws off the rage. He comes in here now. Watch Charles's positioning as well, right? Goes for Uros. S Triple C starting to take the arrows, getting slowed up. It's concerned. Charles comes back, jumps inside Charles. They forget all about the Life Stealer at this point. He's just like Life Stealer. What Life Stealer? Who cares? Let's kill XM. Then boom, jumps out on top of his face, right on the back line. Perfect, perfect counter issue. Take me to a game three, Jeeves, please, please. Oh, the arena, here we go! Young Gang, that's an assassination right there. The silence is a little bit early from Uros, that's fine though. Void Spirit gonna dissimulate out of there, keep himself frosty. Gang Gang, he's got his Blink Dagger online, we've got the Vlads uh, online, Paparazzi's got the Hurricane Pipe online, looking for Manta style, everything is online, Jeeves, it sure is, it sure is, uh, Fade, he's got the Orchid finished up, nice, XM with the Ag Scepter done, Chalice with the Blink Dagger, looking for BKB. Yeah, we already had a couple of donations today actually, Tinky Cat. We met our sub goal already. It's pretty, it's been a pretty good day. It's been a pretty good day. What's Red Panda building? Four staff? Yeah, okay. Somnus with a haste rune. Like lightning! Like lightning McQueen! Now, they both have superior, um, super duper roach potential here. Oh, the chase, the bomb, and the explosion. Red Panda super fast with the clock, but he's not able to get out with the hook shot. And S Triple C actually going to feast up on some cogs. 
go straight in and take Roche now. Oh, double down for triple C. Sometimes Gavin just smiles on this team, man. Look at this. Look at this. The medallion is used. X Nova prowling on the outside here in case they go for the counterplay. Yang Gang, they're trying to close in the gap here. They know what's happening, but it's happening so fast. Roche is just dying. Now the spear comes through. Kill off the courier. I thought he was going to get the kill with the spear. Now, who did I predict? I went e-home this game. Oh, the Yules. But I'm happy either way. I'm happy either way. Yang Gang with a swap out. Actually, nice play. Nice play by FY. Gonna save the Mars from his own demise. Very nice, very nice. The arrow's flying down. Charles gonna fall. They actually get something back here. Dude, they got the winner, Wyvern, as well. Chasing forward, look for a little bit more. The gaze to hold them in place. Now the light strike array. The arrow's still flowing from Paparazzi, though. X Nova all but dead. Oh, they're chasing. They're chasing. He wants this one. He'll get it. The sleight of fist. Easy secure. Easy secure. How many times has poor old, uh, poor old X Nova died at this point? Three, seven, and eight, boys. Three, seven, and eight. A little grim. A little grim for him. It'd be pretty cool if the wolf hero that they bring in, or the beast hero they bring in is Fenris, man. My stream is lagging? Is it? Lagging for anyone else? Try refreshing? Okay. I think it's fine, dude. I think it's you, sir. Try dropping your, um... I drop it to 720. Yeah, that's my biggest paranoia, guys, is that the viewing experience is not 100%. Why well, I'm willing to invest in new equipment. Make sure we have a crispy, 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 yo, shit, nice try, nice try, the hook shot does not connect, though, the gaze. FY silenced up. The Orchid coming in from the backside there, by the way. Watch out, Fade. They're looking for um, an attack here. Yang Gang, he will find him. He throws out the uh, Golden Race straight away. XM, he does have a life stealer inside him. The gaze on Uros. Uros, he's having a bit of a pickle right now. Oh god, he's isolated from the rest of the team. He's trying to deal with the first life of the life stealer. He'll get it. He'll bring him down. Now XM trying to stick on top of the Stride Ranger, the buyback from FY, the leap up to the high ground, Uros is still alive, Life Stealer, where is Life Stealer? Did he just TP out or what? Oh no, he walked away. Well, I mean, I think he wanted the Dry Ranger, right? I think he wanted to throw the game, jeez. No, I think he wanted the Dry Ranger. Where did all these people come from? Hello, everybody. Welcome. If you're not following the Jeeves Dota TV experience, please follow me at Twitch TV slash D Jeeves Dota TV. Also, check out the Twitter and the YouTube and join the Discord for more fun and games. All right, FY, he is slaying tower right now. Yang Gang gonna help bring it down. Decimation complete. Somnus, he's downstairs pumping down this tower as well. The one tier two remaining. It's actually a pretty good time to take the outpost as well. Pretty good time to take the outpost. Anytime you're ready, guys. You just walk over there. You could just capture that. That would ensure the XP bump at 30 minutes. I'm just saying, you could, anyone could do it. Like, any hero. It doesn't have to be Drow. It doesn't have to be Vengeful Spirit. Anyone can do it. FY, he's he's making a move over there now. Oh, shit. Here they come. S triple C. He's got himself the armlet of more dig -a -g 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 The Desolator, the BKB. He's already, well, he's building BKB. He already has Assault Kudas up. It's pretty good against Drow Ranger. Um, basically softens the blow of the drag, just kicking everyone's ass at the same time. Assault! He's got the assault! He's got the ready salted cuirass, boys. Oh, no, he's going, uh, he's going, um, PKB first. Nah, he's going PKB. 
What is that terrain? This is the Doa Plus autumn, autumnal terrain, and it's with the autumnal weather, but the weather doesn't really show too well for some reason. Like, see these little things floating in the air? The leaves and shit? That's the autumnal weather. Alright, a nice counter play here. Chalice is going to be the lead man on the far side here to make sure no one comes in on them. They'll bring the tower down. Knights still got 30 seconds left. That top outpost now under control. Can they, can they go back for the other? Wait, they're coming in. The initiation here we go. Somnus goes forward. You get silenced up by Fade, actually. The BKB, they drop down on top of him. Trying to kill him. He gets a life stealer inside of him. Not everybody's so lucky, I'll tell you what. The double stun, though, it stops Somnus from taking too much damage during the Winter's Curse. Now the four star forward, the Guna Blade doing literally nothing again. The spear hits on two. Very nice. Somnus will actually go down. Now the turnaround. Chalice, so Yang, he's, he's gonna get him. Next, Nova securing the kill. And that's four for nothing. All of a sudden, the Ricardo flick, boys. And that's not even the full flick, that's only half the flick. Look at the sexy bastard go. Come on, update, sir. Skills that you've not accounted for. And the outpost, did he take it in time? He did not take the outpost. In time. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's a little bit. I mean, it's on maybe, right? Oh shit, there we go. XM, he's diving hard. Chalice looking for Juros now as well. They've got the silence. They're throwing down the damage. That's a Scotty up on Dry Ranger, by the way. Alright, Red Panda's here, he feels safe, he feels confident to go back in a little bit. S Triple C showing in the lane though. He, he does have him fast, so he can just jump inside anyone that's there. It's not updated. Yeah, there you go. There you go, boys. The full Ricardo. Look at it in all of its glory. Oh, boys, it's still going down as well. Look at the outpost as well, just on the end there. Ooh. Ooh. An orb of destruction collected for E Home. Everyone else starting to pick these items. The Dry Ranger as well with a big sword. They're fighting on the back line here, by the way. Somnus is trying to go hop. It's three versus one right now. They already took down Fade, though. Nice play from the Dry Ranger as he closes the gap. The Senior Chains up to the high ground, but Nova is already out there. TPing out now, looking for Chalice in the trees. He does have an urn running on him. Somnus on top of his ass right now. Dark Ascension ready and. All right, I don't believe that was the swap that he was going for. But FY secures the kill. <laughs> he swaps out the Ember Spirit. Pretty sure he meant to swap the uh, the Night Stalker. We've all been there, guys. We've all, we've all been there. All right, we got the uh, Kaya. Sanj and Kaya, huh? Sanj and Kaya. Even bet on Ehome for sure, for sure. For shizzle, my nizzles. Or shizzle my nizzles. Alright, what have we got going on here? We've got the Medallion of Courage, the Heat of Defiance. Definitely strong roach potential. Even stronger than it was before, Jeeves. Even stronger. But the Life Stealer. Talk about the Life Stealer. His BKB's almost done. His phase boots. Yeah, I mean, he's literally finished it. Imagine you could buy recipes from secret shops, guys. Imagine. Oh, Roche. Oh, it's 58 seconds. Actually, kind of favors Elephant. I mean, it's 50-50 on this Roche, because... Elephant could definitely have gone in there and take it. How to kill Lifestealer. Um, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Angang's building Abyssal. That's not going to help. Um, Lotus Sword for Ember Spirit. That's not going to help. I, you, so they have the Vengeful Spirit, right, with a swap. So even if he rages, he can't exactly get out of the situation. Or BKB, it's the same, it's the same story. Uros, he's got the Scotty going on here, the Butterfly, uh, sorry, the Mana Style, the, the Dragon Lance building Butterfly now. They're all gathered on the high ground. They know Roche is up soon. They want to take a fight before that. Five seconds before the big boy is up. Uros going forward shows himself right in the lane. Everyone's right ready to pounce. But can they close the distance? Doesn't look like they want to try just yet. They're not sure where everyone is. Dallas, he's the one going forward right now. But it's daytime. He does have the Dark Ascension. I imagine it gets popped off. Yes, here we go. In on top of FY. The explosion of FY is complete. 
Nice spear into the Winter's Curse. Mars, not the best target for this, but it will hold him in place. Now Red Panda coming through, but he gets silenced on the backside here. We go down the Mars Arena. Yang Gang with his BKB up. It's very messy in amongst all this. Charles looking for Uros on this backside. It's working, it's working. Amarazzi is down, boys. Oh god, it's another full team by E Home. E Home. Wow, Somers is still alive. Well, is he though? Is he still alive, guys? Is he still alive? What do you think? The buyback from the Dry Ranger, the buyback from the Clockwork. They don't want Somnus to go down right now. They think they pushed a little too far in here. The Light Striker 8 easily dodged by Papa. The Yules to save his ass. Red Panda gonna die back, no problemo. Easy if you try. Oh, Euros with the die back now as well. E home, uh, e home. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is fucking huge. That's an easy Roshan. That's an easy Roshan, boys. Oh, I'm so bad, man. So bad. Yeah, looks like a looks like a two one lads. Die back on two heroes. I mean, why do that? You're in such a good position. He just like, he just blew two thousand gold. Look, now he's going for baby crit because he's so broke. Like, play around here. Yeah, he's desperate for kills, right? Because he bought back, so he needs to kind of balance that that net worth deficit. But now they're going to lose tower. Fifty-four seconds without dry ranger. Can they go high ground here? I mean, they've got caught lock work. They've got the arena, it's difficult to actually go up here, but S Triple C doesn't care, he's got BKB, he's got Rage. Alright, they'll force out the fortification for now, just keep the catapults alive guys and your Gucci. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. They actually tank up the tower damage, now the die for from Charles XM's in on top of FY as well. FY dead for 54 seconds, Yang Yang throwing off the BKB in the arena. It's not good, Charles trying to get in on top of Yang, it's not happening, it's fine, he just goes in and out, take it all about. The BKB in the Dark Ascension, he's not troubled by mere walls of mortal men. Oh shit, you're saying Mars is a mortal? Oh yeah, you've got point. He's not troubled by mere walls of god men. Oh shit, Charles, you okay? Charles is fine. Full set of racks, no problem. Dry up in 9 seconds, rotate out of there. They already took Roshan. They can go top for an extra objective. Or they can take outposts. Oh boy, Tyre's bottom tower is getting hit. Double damage on the river, by the way. Nobody has vision of it just yet. I think you just go top here. I think it's a smart, sensible move. Just go and push out top, push it in. It does relieve a little bit of the pressure, of course. 37 minute items are up. There are items at 37 minutes. Yeah, tier 4 should be available now. Um, yeah, so basically the, the, the purpose of the Assault Kuras is it, Dry Ranger, she takes away your base armor. So, so long as SCCC is with the team, Dry Ranger feels very ineffective. Lotus feels no good. Who's got Ro Lotus? Red Panda? Bench? Mars? Lotus. Oh, Night Stalker is making one. Oh, yeah, so he is, so he is. Um, why is he building this? Why is he building? Just for the armor, maybe. It's for armor. That's, I mean, how does that... I mean, it helps against the Vengeful Spirit, I guess. It's, I mean, it's a swap. It's pretty important. Yeah, I like the Shiva's better. You're right, you're right. I mean, either way, the plate mail is Gucci, right? Either way, the plate mail is Gucci. Maybe he changes it, actually. But cheese, he's got solar crest. He already has a decent amount of armor as well. Like, Dry can't do too much at all. You know what would be a sick play? Um, Lifestealer going inside a Lifestealer illusion. Right, and then you think, oh, it's just an illusion and you kill it? Wait. Here's a question. If Life Stealer is inside an illusion, does it pop smoke? Illusion cape for Dry Ranger as well. 
Timeless Relic for Ember Spirit for those extra long uh, searing chains. Cool man, that's super cool. I like it. Uh, Fade, what? I mean, he doesn't have a neutral item. He doesn't need a neutral item. Titan Sliver for Night Stalker. Life Stealer going ham on the tower. X Nova's got the Timeless Relic for the other side. Dry Ranger Illusions pushing forward. Deals a decent amount of damage to the tower with the Illusion Escape. Look at the Ricardo flick, boys. I like this, I like this. It's a very cautious play right now, right? You go in, you take down the tower. Now the rocks are exposed. You don't go too far in because obviously paparazzi with the Dry Ranger. You've got the arena, you've got the clockwork. This, they've got catch definitely for S triple C here, even with the rage BKB. He's got an abyssal though, they throw him back in, speed him through the rocks, trying to kill him for the first time. He does have Aegis, he'll be back. Now XM having a bit of a problem, he's all rooted up. The swap in, where did he swap him to? I don't know, he actually swapped Mars out. Okay, now XM coming in real deep, S triple C starting to go ham. That's a dead paparazzi, that's a dead Mars with the Laguna Blade on top. He's not dead yet, Jeeves, he's, he's dead, guys, trust me, he's dead. Now Somnus to chase down, he's got the BKB, he's dead. They're all dead. Okay, cool. The dieback as well, right? Or buyback for revenge? Dieback on, dieback on Mars. GG, let's go game three. Oh. Yeah, that was huge. That one fight, that one fight here, where they bought back here, and then it's just all downhill from there. All right, boys. All right, E Home, E Home, take game two. Very nice play by Uros. I really like the fight actually, where Uros uh, gets inside the Night Stalker and then they pick Paparazzi. Up until that point, Paparazzi felt pretty much untouchable. Um, he felt like a real thorn in their side. But using the uh, the infest on Chalice and then popping out on top of the Dry Ranger, I'm pretty sure that's when the game turned. Honestly, um, everything else was an uphill struggle for Elephant. Then their tempo was disrupted. For Sure. Sure. Um, Bade had some really clutch winter curses. Like, he didn't really kill anyone with the winter's curse, but he certainly controlled up Ember Spirit a lot in the early fights as well, and it stopped him from snowballing. Um, but good times, good times, guys, good times. Yeah, there were a few misplays as well, though. There were a few overconfidence plays, which cost them hardcore fights. And Red Panda, his job is to protect the Drow's balls, but he cannot protect the Drow's balls if the Drow doesn't have balls. No, if the Drow is, uh, if the Drow is life stealer, you know, if he dies, kills himself. The Drow is life stealer. That's what I said. What? All right, I'm making a cup of tea, guys. I'll be right back. No, there were six. There were six on E-Home, dude. Rickus Ricks among us. Let's see who they were. Let's see who the Rickus Ricks were, boys. Let's see. We've got Fouquet with 600. Keys DVD with 760. Lover. Well done, that with 600. Peglet Stream with 5k. Jeeves Dota TV with 5k. And Exert with a big boy. 20k. 20k. Small bets don't count. All bets are loved in the Jeeves Dota TV experience, Peggle Extreme. All bets count. If you have a little EPN or a big EPN or a massive EPN like Xert, all bets count. All bets count. It's not the motion in the. No. It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion in the ocean. Maybe it's the emotion in the notion.
Real timer, real timer. Game is loading. Game is loading. Let's go. Let's go. Come on.
team ban. Hey Sonic, how's it going, dude? All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time for the China Door Pro Cup Season Two Lower Bracket Final: Elephant versus E Home. It's Game Three. I'm General Chief. You can follow me at Twitch TV slash Chief's Dota TV. And this time. You really a little more time to think about the draft, huh? Take out that IO, of course. Goodbye, Slardar. First fan, maybe. Boom, Radiant Team Band. Ah, uh, there's a coin toss at the start, uh, Akumu, and then uh, did I predict E Home last game? I did. I did. Uh, yes. You, you, you better pick your hero. Five seconds. Your coin flip on the first game, and then you sort it out based on that. Oh, dire team ban! And then it alternates between who gets first pick, who gets side pick. So you get you either can choose first last pick, or you can choose radiant dire. Like if you choose one, then the other team shoots. Live stealer. <laughs> Seconds left. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Not going to be joining us today. Come on, Radiant. Let me take out the Rubik. Okay, okay. First pick, Mars. Dire team pick. Chaz Chili. Thank you for the follow, my dude. Speak friend and enter. Keep it clean. Keep it PMA. Undying Lena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw Ranger. Ooh. Radiant team band. Early draw. How they combat. I expect guys, elephant zero or one. Elephant or Dire team band. Zero, sir. Now right, let's all see how long J24, how many coins he's got. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. I mean, check your coins. Radiant oh, you did, you did. Consider first pick to be an advantage. Um, It means you get one hero that you want, assuming it gets it through the draft. Yeah, yeah I see, I see long J. I see. Uh, get rid of the PA, get rid of the blood seek. Ah! Oh, man. Rick, there's only 10 seconds Traditionally as well, Chaz, teams which perform well with the second pick. I believe if you get first pick, you don't get last pick. So sometimes it's the last pick hero that swings things around. But teams who are not caged by side or pick tend to do stronger, right? Um, maybe they're just sick of playing Sven, man. Oh, dire team fan. Yeah, yeah. If you've got like, uh, if you've got like a brood player or a meepo player or something, and it's a good game for it, last pick is definitely. Like, you saw how effective the Slark last pick, right? How effective that Slark last pick was in game one. Uh, they take out the Vengeful Spirit because it's a natural buffer for Dry Ranger. They got the Phantom Lancer, trying to deal with these heroes oh, that are going to get on the back like line. Seconds left to pick a hero. Um, you, you, you better pick your hero. Five seconds. Oh, Dire Team Band. Yeah, I can't wait for COVID to be over so we can break out of this incestuous region on region action, boys. I wanna see I wanna see China versus EU. I wanna see CIS versus C. I you know I wanna see I wanna see some action. Um you didn't mention N A or S A G. You really gotta pick a hero. You got ten seconds left. Uh the Beastmaster. Yeah, 
MJH07, thank you for the follow, my dude. Speak friend and enter. Keep it clean. Keep it PMA. No spoilers, please. No live odds during the game. Other than that, where are you from? Which team do you fancy? Or don't you know yet? Ooh, TikTok, we're on the clock into the golden time right now. Is that triple C? Not actually, it's triple C, but as the drafter contemplates this pick here, this ban, are they going to ban the Morphling? Oh, the Arc Warden. Okay, okay. And for the Shadow Shaman, it's been a while since we've seen old Shaman there. Anyone else miss, um, he's the guy who was always picking Shadow Shaman, guys. James? Anyone else miss James? Night Stalker. Again, this problem, again, this problem where they can get on the back lines, but they don't have the Life Stealer option this time around. Shadow Shaman is hands down the best draft answer. Look at him, he's there, he's getting ready to give you the old ether shock. He's gonna get you with the shackles, he's gonna drop snakes on you. And he's gonna die, but it's cool. Do you think the Chinese Dota meta is ahead of other regions? Um, yes and no. Like, their style is definitely ahead as far as making the most of the end of the patch. Um... Like, there's, they're still looking for new heroes. They're still exploring. Uh, it's very consistent Dota, though. and It's very homogenous. So both teams kind of pick the same style, play the same style. Come on, Radiant team. You gotta pick them right. No, this won't be a 90-minute game, lads. 94 minutes, by the way. 94 minutes. Keeper of the Light on the Night Stalker. Wait, that's like a... That's like an oxymoron, right? No, jeez, that's not the word. That's not the word. If these two heroes diametrically opposed. Diametrically opposed. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, no. The bottom man. Oh, dire team fan. Hmm. <clears throat> no, it'll be off lane. Oh, you're right. Shit, Radiant it's Kali Night Stalk. Yeah. It could be Mars mid. We've seen Kari Mars as well. Um, I am. I expect Kari Mars rather than Kari Night Stalker though. Uh, Yang Gang is pretty good on the Stalker. Yeah. Um, yep, 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 yep. You better pick your hero. Five seconds. Get rid of the Centaur War Runner. Goodbye, Sniper. I was drive Kai against Night Stalker Kai. Night Stalker is super ultra fast. Like it's an ultra tempo hero. Um, but it's going to be Mars Kari, I think. Uh, but it's the same idea. It's the same idea. What time does the grand final start, Ben and I? Um, uh, probably 30 minutes after this game ends. 30 minutes after this game. Is e home need here? Um, Blood would have been nice, but he's banned. Um, <laughs> Need a mid hero. Morphling's available, but it feels real slow. They need something that's gonna stunt them. They got Viper Jeeves. Viper's probably the mid. Super Lord. Uh, you craft, please. Um, yeah, maybe the Uber Lord can slow them yeah, down. Like, five seconds left now. Don't really have other than Lena, right? Night Stalker maybe at night. They don't really have a tower here for Elephant, right? Viper's gonna throw down the uh, corrosive toxic haze or what? No, what's it? Corrosive miasma haze, whatever it is. Not corrosive haze. Nether tox. I put that down. Shadow Shaman's got the snakes and dying with the tombstone. It's gonna be difficult to get. It's not gonna be as easy to get on the Dry Ranger this time. Vance Fan? No way, it's Fan. And a Night Stalker's mid? 
Yeah, they get the nature spells. No, no, no. Sven, not a hero here. Uh, Morphling gonna get taken out. Um, need something. I mean, Sven actually looking okay for E home now. Just drive uh, Ranger, drive mid Viper off lane. Eh. No, you just just go for the just go for the Uber Lord. No, I think it's yeah. Oh, it is Papa Night Stalker. Damn. Damn. Okay. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go. The final game in the series for the Lord Braga. One of the teams goes home. One of them goes to the final, their grand daddy final for Elephant. It's maybe on the mid, Nature's Prophet, Red Panda on the Keeper of Light, Paparazzi on the Night Stalker, FY on the Lena, Yang Gang on the Mars. Or E home Chalice picking up the big fatty, Mr. Underlord, no problemo. XM on the Viper mid fade with a shot of shaman and safe lane. Triple C on the Dry Ranger and X Nova on Undying. Yo, Fade's gonna go four actually, right? He'll be in the offlane. Look at the big tag on Shadow Shaman. Said no Uber, I said Uber. Fucking Jeeves with a spoil. Alrighty, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, let's get our Dota 2 on. Said analyze, guys. I analyzed. What me do? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got some hot bets coming in right now. Uber pick seems fishy. Why? They want a tangle, right? It's all about tangle here. That's why they picked the Uber. They want to tangle. They want to keep the heroes away from objectives. They want to keep the heroes away from Dry Ranger. The draw, the draft, six points draft advantage to the Radiant. Okay. Oh, Morning Lord. Right. Hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll close the bets in a second. This is all okay. I'll be right back. Oh, you don't miss the first blood. Seconds until the game starts, Rick. I, I, I'm getting my things ready, Morty. Who's that blowing the horn? Did somebody stop? Blowing that horn. Oh no, my daughter, my daughter's awake. Morning, guys. Morning. Yeah, here it is. Let's go. Batting, stop the bats. Ooh. Uh very nice very nice yeah my daughter woke up so uh i just get her some breakfast get her some breakfast and her settled so she entertained if you should put odds on bank nah it works out in the end it works out in the end honestly Like some games are super easy and you get like free uh Oh you mean like that 50-50 shit that everyone's doing now where like um it's the weight of it? What's my thoughts based on the draft? Um both teams capable of winning here, I have to say. It's all about execution. It's very fast from Elephant. Like if it goes over 35 minutes, Elephant I think lose. Um, but e home are pretty early game focused as well, so it's not going to be a run over game, I think. 
Like, there's good rotation potential here from XM. The Uberlord's there to clog things up, try and make the game go far, uh, go longer. Dry Ranger wants to get far. This lane here with X Nova versus Yang Gang. I mean, it's pretty strong. This lane's pretty strong versus this, but FY is pretty strong versus this. So. One map one and two. So E Home one map one. Elephant one. No, Elephant one map one. E Home one map two. Are we all caught up? First blood gonna be, guys. So yeah, so you've got this nature's prophet. Traditionally, he goes for like the orc. I don't know, wait, the light striker raid, the right click, X Nova. He's chasing him. He's chasing him. He's gonna eat a tangle. He'll be, he'll be frosty, ghosty. Um. It's getting handled here in the mid lane, actually. XM diving a little bit deep. Here we go. Throughout the sprout. Looking for the TP out. He's under the tower. The rotation in. Oh, he gets the kill. He gets the XP. He gets the money shot. 360 gold. FY going to sit mid and collect a level in the meantime. Shit, Mars. I mean, this is not unexpected. This lane is terrible for Mars. This is Mars' worst nightmare. So look at this, he's full health, right? He gets the he gets the uh, multi-shot to the face, X Nova puts down the, uh, the tombstone because of the rotation to the mid lane from his support, right? As soon as he's left alone, they go on him and they just bring him down. So they actually get two kills out of that, um, rather than one. I mean, watching Red Star Cup is a bloodbath. This is, this is a little bit more tame. 70 kills in 20 minutes, normally. Went in on Ehome. Nice, nice. Dude, if Ehome win this after losing that game one, that's pretty pop. That is pretty pop. He can keep them at bay. Red Panda wants to completely apply pressure all times. Paparazzi with a safe lane. Night Stalker. I mean. Mm -mm. Rotations. It's four minute bounty. It's four minute power rune time. Let's go. Let's go. X Nova covering bottom. Fade covering, um, fade covering top, X home covering top, bottom, top, da, 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 da. The, the supports were on the runes, guys. Yes, yes. So, Elephant have to win the early game, though. That's the difference here. Elephant have to win the early game. They have to go ahead, super far ahead, in order just to crush the game and close it out before, like, I don't know, 28 minutes. If that doesn't happen... They've got problems. They've got problems. So Yang Gang, he's looking for bottle. He already has Bracer in place. S Triple C in behind the tower here, getting chased up by FY. Easily dodged this. There's no way to stop him from getting out. They can't do enough damage either. Tried though. Tried to get it done. Call plus Night Stalker. Ags is sick. Yeah, but call Ags. Fucks Night Stalker, right? No, Night Stalker kind of wrecks all Axe. Yeah. Because then it's nighttime more, right? Or any of the game is not over, then Elephant lose. Yeah, but you know, you have to give them a little bit of wiggle room. But, uh, not. Nah, you have to give them a little bit of wiggle room. Because, you know, S Triple C could just die like this with a rotation of Somnus. So, you know. All right, first night, time for Uros to uh, to start putting down the smack down. Yo, yo, dude, does that have got raindrops? He does. Damn, that's a hot pickup right there, actually. Oh, dude, that's so fucking good. Like, Red Panda, he tries for the blast. The blast damage is completely negated by the raindrop. And then... It's max damage 200. Oh, because you got to hold it for the full land. There's the shackles. Nice. Wait, wait where's the green shackle magic coming from? What does the green shackles? Lash of the lizard kin. I don't have that. Do I? No, LGD got wiped out yesterday, my friend. After a 94 minute techies game. Weren't you here?
Yeah, but I mean, he can get on top of Drow. Yeah, the knights, the the nature's prophet can get on top of Drow. But he, I just, he always, he always gets super farmed. He's always super devastating. I always find the nature's prophet. He just tails off. Like it's not that he tails off. He just, it's very rarely I see him win. Yo, that that two shot Roche was pretty goddamn good, man. Pretty goddamn good. Somnus is here. Did get shackled up. Now XM the rotation of the Viper Strike looking for the TP out. He's already dead. Never mind that. Let's go. Three to four right now. 48, 49 and six. 50 and six. Viper just cleaning up this lane for just now. I get a little bit of farm here. It holds it in place actually with Light Strike already. Looking for the pool. That's not going to work. Is it? Maybe you can still get it. No, not with that Light Strike. You can't. Viper. It's not that Viper is strong in the patch, right? It's just Viper is very good against the heroes that are strong in the patch. Do you see what I mean? Like he's not OP in his own right, but versus, say, Sven versus the Mars. Um, it's super good, it's super good here goes, Thomas with the TP in, Dry Ranger's already moved though, because she's, she's downstairs here, S triple C, they're looking to try and push this tower in, Fade's still level 4 though, Red Panda, Uros is here level 6, trying to play this aggressive core, he goes in, he goes up on the Dark Ascension, looking for Fade, starting to punch him down, but here come the Searing Chains, Light Strike Array for the Viper, the auto's coming forward from Dry, doing literally nothing, this guy have? Our treads and a bracer now. XM getting handled. There's another light striker ray. The silence from S Triple C not available right now. It seems there goes the Viper. He's down. X Nova coming forward, looking for Uros. He is a strength hero, looking for Fy in the trees. They can't find anything right now. Maybe Red Panda. He can get that kill at least. Oh, Chalice with a great rotation. He'll keep Fy in place. But here comes Yang Gang. Drops the arena. Chalice gets called rebuke to the face on the backside. Uros. Uros. Oh, he goes down. But here comes Somnus with the TP from the backside now as well. Oh God, Uros. Oh, Sestable C's getting handled actually as he tries to get out of here, but they'll turn it around. Charles now, where did... Wait, where did Nature... Nature just die? Well, I mean, he's gonna die, right? What happened to Nature's Prophet? He TP'd in. He was feeling himself. Where is he? He just gets, a, he just gets annihilated, look. It's like, okay, he's coming in on the back side. They immediately turn this around. Uros gets handled, like we say, SWC running away, but Chalice goes in. He's got 55 stolen damage. X Nova on top of him, and then Fade as well. Dude, yeah, what a fight. What a fight. Yeah, got shackled and fucked. Shadow, ja Shadow Jamin? Shadow Jamin, dude, serious work here. What are Night Stalker abilities in day and night time? So they're the same abilities, they're just very much reduced as far as damage is concerned during the day. Um, he's got the Void, which is damage plus move slow plus attack slow. He's got the uh, Crippling Fear, which um, is a silence, right? Yeah, it gives him a silence for 7 seconds at night, 3 seconds during the day. Hunter in the night just makes him so much stronger at night. Passive ability. Oh, the Mars Arena. They're going forward. There we go. That's a dead, undying. Now we can for Mr. Fade on the outside here. Heals himself up with a big wand. Get pulled back in by the Ignis Fatus. Now Yang Gang trying to TP out. They got nothing to stop him. He's gone, though. XM, though. Make sure they secure the kill on Lena. So they actually get a pretty good trade there. Pretty good trade for Elephant. E home anytime. Boot 6, thank you for the follow. Beast boost for demo, thank you for the follow. Yo, um... Yeah, so remember, remember afterwards, well, uh, lover 160900 1000 bonus sheave coins for being the Rickish Rick. So basically, the elephant have to take all the fights during the night. Yeah, that's like his cooldown. His cooldown is like a 5 minute cooldown for uber power. He can with Dark Ascension, it makes him fly. So he can like fly up um, over the trees. Um, and he makes it nighttime and uses Dark Ascension, but it only lasts for 30 seconds. What's Ags do on Mars? It gives you double God's Rebukes. You're, as soon as you, so you God's Rebuke, you drop your arena, your God's Rebuke is recharged instantly. In the arena. Spear through though, keeping FY alive for a few more seconds. They're actually going to use Snacks for that. Ooh. 
next and tombstone i guess they were expecting more of a fight x nova's tping in they're fighting down bottom by the way look fresh triple c nice pick off there this is the power of somnus on the nature's prophet he's got a global teleport that is on very low cooldown he can be everywhere at once Boxing is stupid. Man, I had a boxing match one time. Unlicensed boxing match. In the back of a pub. For gambling reasons. And, uh, dude, I thought I was going to die. Honestly. That's a very intense sport. Uh, e home are red. Yes. Green, well, and blue are uh, elephant. A Yang Gang, he's on the high ground here. He's got the arena available. Trusty shovel picked up. First of 10 kills going the way of E Home. Not what Elephant want to see here. Not what Elephant want to see here. It's daytime as well. So Night Stalker, more of a day walker right now. You can see he's much reduced. He's building his Ag Scepter. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's going to give them a lot of vision and control. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bait right now. S Triple C's like, it's just me, guys. You can gank me if you want to. <laughs> Smoke breaks though, they're already clipping around the, right, the outside there. The pit of malice, the tower is falling. Another alt coming through from Nature's Prophet does a decent amount of damage. What's the mech situation here? Mechanism coming for undying. I think it's done. Orchid's finished up already though for the Nature's Prophet. 13 minutes, not too shabby on the timing. Does break remove Hunter Ignite? Yes, yes it does. Yes it does. Gang Gang assassinates X Nova. He just wanted to D ward, boys. He just wanted to D ward. Do I feel E home here? I mean, it's looking good so far. Uh, Hunter in the Night. Dark Ascension is a different. Um, it's a different ability. So it's an active ability that cannot be dispelled, whereas Hunter in the Night is a passive. Two extra attack speed, extra move speed. Yeah, Elephant not taking any objectives. There's a Shadow Shaman plus Drow on E Home, so very good at taking objectives. Who's position one? It's the Night Stalker, position one. Oh, the Atos goes out but fades in from the side with the Hex. Red Panda drops the Ignis Fatis. Here comes the Night Stalker going in. Where they want to go? They want to go on Fade. It's the easy kill here. X Nova coming in the backside trying to help a bro out, but unfortunately, Ignis Fatis not going to get it done. Nice jungle camping there. Well, items for dire. Okay. Um. I mean, she has her uh, her Yasha done. This is fairly normal. I think she needs BKB. Um. Yeah. I mean, this is a very heavy magic lineup. You're gonna get silenced as well. It's gonna be a bit of a problem for you. The problem is though, if the Night Stalker's on top of your drought and it's day and it's nighttime, she's probably already dead. So the plan is to keep um, keep the dryer away. So the mechanism for the undying for the extra sustain. We've got the hood up into pipe coming for Underlord. Going to give them the magic shield. We've got the Atos for Viper to pin him down. They've got answers. They've got answers. I had to take Underlord down in a team. Uh, they just Orchid him. The Orchid is like uh, Witch Doctor's... Um, it's like the Maledict, right? So when you do damage under Orchid, there's like a burst of damage at the end when Orchid wears out. Uh, e home have mech, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all on undying. I mean, it's it's almost done. It's like 500 gold off it. What does Night Stalker Ags do nowadays? It gives you AOE silence forever. Wait, no. It gives you AOE void even. Yeah. So it's like a, it turns a single target and you can on AoE nuke. They're taking an easy Roche here. Can they contest this? It's night time. They definitely could have if they're aware it's happening, but they seem oblivious. So a little bit of a cheeky play there from e -Home. They managed to get the Aegis out from underneath their noses. Underneath the noses of a Night Stalker. Yang Gang looking for the TP out. It's a long ass TP. Yeah, sorry. The Super Silence is there anyway. You already have Super Silence. But that shit that he does there, that void. Causes void to be AOE ability increases the mini stun duration. Also turns it into a proper stun, right? Kinda. Scepter stun 0.5 seconds. Oh, 
the spear though. Nice catch, Charles. He's getting the beef down. They're breaking him up here. I told you the Orchid was the play, the Laguna Blade. He's dead anyway when that silence wears off because of that extra Laguna that went in. Down goes Fade as well. SCCC trying to throw some others, trying to force them back. They're fighting around the snack wards. Good block by Somnus with the freeze there. And they get anything on the way out here. Ooh, undying. Oh, that's an extra kill that they didn't need to lose there. Doesn't really matter though. They will take Yang in return. He's taking all the damage from XM out. Now the buyback from undying. He wants to try and catch them, but running down here. A pretty good fight for Elephant. Building the four star for the Keeper of the Light because you want to get people out of the Pit of Malice um, and out of the Snacks and away when they're shackled. Seems fine. BKB coming for Night Stalker, second item. Good for him. S Triple C, he's building his BKB next as well. What is he getting here though? What is this, what is this casual band of Elven skin about? Barbecue is cleaned. Get in there. Here we go. The hex up on Yang Gang. Eros is here though. Already kicking down some damage on that tombstone. Nice arena. Yang Gang is dead. Ex Nova still alive. The Laguna Blade did not find a kill. FY into the trees here. They'll find him with a pit of malice. Drop some firestorm on top of him. There's X with a follow up. The arrows to do. Do. To do. To do. To do. 13 to 13, still 3k net worth difference in it. XM forcing this in now. Up top, Mr. Nature's Prophet doing a similar job. Love the Aegis on the Viper. XM feeling very brave now. He's going to go right ahead to the next creep wave. The fortification comes through to frustrate their efforts for a few seconds more. They get this tower though. This is great timing. The thing is, if they get this tower and then they can get back to defend with the ult, right? You can Uberlord takes everyone with him, right? Oh, this is this is it, this is it, this is it. Let's go, let's go. Take the tower, take the tower, take the outpost. Remember, take the outpost. Leave someone behind for the outpost. Here we go, the defense. Bring them in. He's already moving. Outpost was not secured. Of a disabler other than shaman. Uh, Aster next. Alright, we drop the snacks. They do drop the uh, bit of malice on the backside, disabling the nature's profit there for a few seconds. FY, gang still alive. They do take out Undying. Goodbye, uh, blah, 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 Shadow Shaman. XM trapped in the arena. He's a BKB. Oh, I think the BKB is done. Alright, just waiting for it to be delivered. A little bit unfortunate timing on the goal call there. S Triple C's BKB. Oh, he's building Dragon Lance. Okay, that makes perfect sense. He's building BKB now. 6k. Mars has got Axe. Mark, Mars does not have Axe. He's building BKB. Yeah, basically, I think past the 28 minute mark, it's just a straight lock for evil. Right? Lover says 20 minutes, but I think the 28 minute mark. Um, you need to you need to have taken a, a tower, right? At least a tier three tower, in order to have a chance. Sean Sado, welcome, my dude. Welcome. They do, they could have controlled the outpost spare, I think. Uberlord's bailing, bye. Everyone's pushing up top. This tier one tower, kind of honorable. They got a sentry, they do see, oh, it's smoke anyway. They do see Yang Gang. They don't have much catch for it though. They have to use the Atos to get in on top of them, then drop the Nether Toxin. The angle for the Nether Toxin, not great there. 
Here we go, and from the box side, Unos just pops off the darkness, they go half, nice arena, that's a dead, undying silence for the entire duration, S Triple C getting handled now as well, XM, he's the only one left fighting here, PT being out, he sure is, Jeeves, he has Aegis, Aegis is gone, okay, okay, Aegis is long gone, Jeeves, a minute or so. Now they're trying to hunt Fade. Look at the speed of Uros at night, boys. The Hex, Laguna, Fade, he's still alive. The Dragon Sleep, oh! He thought he was going to get away, boys. What do we have to look for? We need to see the, um, the they need to take towers. Like... The longer the game goes, the worse it feels for Elephant. Elephant are in ascendancy right now. This is their peak strength point. Oh shit, I nearly spilled my tea. That would have been a disaster, I'll tell you what. And uh, yeah, look, there you go. Ehome's advantage now down to 50 50 right now. Ehome actually winning the early game to an extent there. Now the comeback is in full swing for Elephant as they get their power spikes with their items. Uh, Charles has the pipe finished up. Yang Gang. Double damage, this BKB is almost done. BKB timing is super important here. BKB almost ready on Drow. Undying has Medallion of Courage, so they can go for early Roche or earlier Roshans. The Atos, the BKB is done on the Venom. What's his name? Viper. <coughs> yeah, right, but so, so why did Drow get fucked in the last fight? So she's here, they dropped the arena. She's trapped inside the edge of the arena, right? So Drow is all about positioning. Next fight, she pops BKB, she steps back two steps, she unleashes the damage. Charles has got a mech. Yo, wait, what? Dude, this guy built half a mech. And then this guy built the whole mech. He's like, nah, that's cool. I got it. I got it. I'm getting Guardian Greaves anyway. He's pretty close. 500, 400 gold away. 330 gold, chief. Hi, you are red. Thank you for the follow my dude. Speak friend and enter. Keep it clean. Keep it PMA. If you're not already following me at Twitch TV slash Jeeves Dota TV, I don't know what's wrong with you. Subscribe and your life will be better. I don't see you home winning this. Sorry, this game is over. Okay. Yeah, no live odds, Blackjack. No live odds, friend. But I, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not even live odds, right? He's basically just saying, Luke, uh, elephant are ahead right now. It's execution as well, though, guys. It's execution. If they can get the pace off, look at this. Look at this. They're on the hunt down. Who's up here? It's Mister Chalice, right? Nature's Prophet gonna TP out, but he's still going on Charles. Charles thinks he's safe here, he thinks Nature's Prophet's gone. Wait, the Drive Ranger, that was a bad rotation. Oh shit, okay, XM, he pops off that BKB. Drive getting handled in the trees right now. Turn it around with the BKB of Rowan, trying to kill down Somnus, but Somnus' damage is quite impressive. XM getting handled. <laughs> nice, nice stalker action. Nice, nice stalker action. Dude. Oh, that was so fucking bad for Ehome. Like, look at this, look at this. They're not even there, look, they're not even there looking for them. Look, they're just smoking, they're going to get Chalice right now. But these guys just happen to walk up the high ground behind them, it pops the smoke off and it turns this fight on top of its head. And it's not the fight they wanted to take, or the time they wanted to take this fight. Just absolutely carnage. But good if you're an elephant fan. So we want to see 28 minutes. We want to see high ground 28 minutes. Roshan is going to be up in 37 seconds. Everyone's back up. All of the alts should be back as well. Not Night Stalkers. Mars Arena will be though. Not Igneous. It's called Will of the Wisp, Javes. Will of the Wisp. Can I please show Night Stalkers items again? Yes, sir. Has an Ag Scepter, he has a BKB, he has a Blink, he's building Basher Abyssal. Nine seconds left on the BKB, he's got the Arcane Rune bottled up.
30 minutes tier 3 tower down. What are you talking about? Are you spoiling that? Huh? Really? Okay, he's somehow still alive. I was drinking my tea. That's okay. He's dead. They, they will get it. They throw a lot on top of that, though. I mean, he should have had it at 28 minutes, honestly. But they're getting the Roche now, so there's still hope. There's a cap top, you know, a weakness in the defense top there. They already took the tier 2 tower down. Outpost control. I don't think you really want to go for it right now with no Underlord. This is an Aegis and Cheese coming in hot. Aegis for Papa. Yep. For Skadi, actually, he's changed away from that basher. Yang Gang. Don't BKB done up. This is looking frosty. Right, Ranger. Hurricane Pike. He needs this. The problem is, Nature's Prophet already has the Assault Kudas. And this is kind of like... Browbait. It's curious that they go for it on him, huh? I guess just because he's getting so much farm. Try his items right now. Hurricane Pike is done. Going back for Manta style now. He needed the mana a little bit earlier, I think, but then he's got the BKB, so it's like, man, it's 50-50, you know, but here we go, paparazzi on the hunt down, it's night time after all, he's still got another minute and a half to work with here, XM could be the target, they break the smoke, the blink forward from Yang Gang, the BKB out from XM immediately, now they look for fade on the background here, he takes him down, Somnus TPing in, dealing with the undying right as well, Chalice, what's the play here, he's not sure, Uros with a mega kill streak now. That Frost Star is starting to land somewhat. XM still alive throughout all of this, by the way. The Laguna Blade now the spear away from the rest of the squad. Here comes Undying. He drops that tombstone. Give him a little heal. Give him a little laugh. No, he's dying. He's dead, so first life expended. But they do take Paparazzi's life as well. Somnus, he's taken down the tombstone. And this is looking pretty grim. Buyback from XM, but the Dry Ranger already dead. Nice heal. Keeps him alive. Gets the gust off. Somehow he's still alive throughout all of this. Oh, Mars is looking for the Spear of Destiny. Can't find it. The Guardian Greaves from Chalice, the big tanky boy. Now the turn. Now the turn. FY coming back in. Looking for a light striker. Maybe S Triple C will move himself up to the high ground. Yes, they do use, lose the Undying again, but they're turning things around just a little bit here. Now Uros getting held in place. Chalice chasing. He's got the Atos. He's got the Atos. He doesn't have a Jeeves. He already used it. He didn't even build it. In fact, what are you talking about? The Viper that's got Atos. Oh. I mean, they got two buybacks there. It was pretty rough at the end of things. Actually, four for three, the actual kills there, plus two buybacks, definitely. Winning on the gold, no, 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 dude. XM, Foresight is BKB against Somnus is here. If they can get Somnus, that's pretty good though, right? He's got a cheese to eat. He doesn't, get, he doesn't eat it in time. I thought I heard the chomping noise. They'll get themselves Red Panda as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is that that's not the end of the world, right? It's pretty grim. You trade Somnus plus Red Panda for Dry Ranger. So overall, pretty good XP, pretty good gold. Too bad none of it's going on the Dry Ranger. All right, so we're thirty minutes up. We did not take the tier 3 tower, guys. We did not take the tier 3 tower. Lover is safe. Night Stalker's items again. Okay, he's still building the Scotty. Elephant needs to throw three times. Yep, still looks throwable. Still looks throwable. So, I mean, what about Blade Mails here, right? Because Mr. Nature's Prophet, he's getting pretty hyped up. He's getting pretty amped. He's building Monkey King Bar. The Bloodthorn, I think, is probably the better course of action. Goes for the Monkey King Bar as well.
Yeah, exactly, Sean. Exactly. So it's a bit of a win for the co for the other heroes, but Drow needs to be there for the golden EXP, right? Manta style still not finished up. This is going to be a big help when it does come. He's got a quelling blade. He's got a quelling blade, guys. This is how much he fears. This is how much he fears the nature's prophet. Manta kind of gets you out of the situation though, because the illusions will push the trees apart, right? Elephant's BKB timer, so Papa's is on 7, Mars is on uh, 8, but he's got a BKB, he's got a, a Desolator finished up now as well. And 8 seconds for Nature's Prophet. BKB timer as well, much lower actually by the way, 8 seconds for Drow, I think she's the highest right? Oh there's no BKB on that guy, it's XM's, his is low, yeah it's on 6. Yeah, Aster versus Elephant is the real game, right? It's like if they win, then Aster versus Elephant is like, like that could go 50-50. Elephant just feel like a wild card, man. <clears throat> Huge advantage, 19k net worth. Mm hmm, a little bit of Ricardo flicking in though. Does Night Stalker have Abyssal? No, sir. He's going Skadi. He's got the Skadi. Now he's going Hyperstone. Do you think SCCC is too inconsistent as Akari? No, he's pretty consistent. Ultra consistent. Grand Finals, the best of five. The betting will be set at 25,000 a game. Yeah, he has Blink already um, on the Night Stalker. So, I mean, he can just get onto the back line. And when he gets there, he's already silencing the drought, right? So, what's she gonna do? <clears throat> he's BKB'd when he jumps in, so she can't Hurricane Pike him. Now she's gonna get scarded. Yeah, Manta's done for the Dry Ranger, building Scotty of his own, send forward some illusions, using Manta effect, uh, offensively there. Thank you, boy, Uber Lord with 40, just a casual 40 armor, guys. Building Shiva's Guard next, you know, because he doesn't have enough armor already. Oh god, Uros with a, Uros with a haste rune and an arcane rune. Oshan coming up soon. Uber Lord TPing in to the mid lane. Looking for a gun, it's not gonna happen. Everyone's behind Chalice right now. XM going forward a little bit here. Wanna push this top lane? I don't know, I don't know. Dominus with the luxury of not having to play with the team because of the global TP, looking for Scotty of his own. Scotty is still piercing spell me. Yes, I believe so. Doesn't say though. I mean it's a physical passive ability, so yeah. uh, for healing mitigation. I mean, it's more the like it's more the slow than anything in this game. They do have a decent amount of sustain, though. I guess with the oh wait, are we going we're going hunting right now. Pops off the darkness because it's about to be 35 minutes up to the high ground. The Nether Toxin goes down a little bit. D Ward action. A bit of Malice comes down, but Uros will totally go around the outside of that. No problem. He's got a gem, so he's got all the visions right now. And uh, they're keeping an eye on this. They know Somnus is trying to push in up top, trying to force in this creep wave. Back line, they get the undying, they take him out, no problemo, now looking for Fade, the snacks, they go down, Somnus is trapped in there for a few seconds, he will get a little bit of an exit though, both supports are down. Ooh, it's fucking rough, that's rough for Ehome, both their supports and all of their control more or less taken out of the equation, let's take the tower they say. Hanging out bounties, what is this? Bottles, courier. Buyback stars. Okay. No one has buyback except for Mars, Alina, and Otto. I'm dying's on cooldown. Viper probably. No, he doesn't have his. I mean, Dry is super close. 16 gold or so. I 
How'd you kill Night Stalker? Uh, I mean, they've got the Viper. Viper's pretty good at shitting on hardcore guys. It's percent based damage as well on the Firestorm, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Firestorm, keep him in place, burn him down. When he's BKB, not so much help. Yeah, actually, that's huge. The fact that they managed to take that game 94 minutes and get 75k net worth on their Terrorblade and then finally beat them. Viper's been caught in an arena. Yeah, but he's got BKB, so arena's not really that much of an issue. The AC's done on him now as well. They're looking for the Lincoln Sphere. They're fed up of Laguna Blades, it seems like, and the silence is not target, so it doesn't really help with that. It'd be great if they could catch Papa. Now, Roshan is up. It's Aegis, it's Cheese. It's Refresher Shard. So often now, the third Roshan always seems to be Refresher Shard. So they have to be aware that this is happening, trying to get the outpost back, trying to take some control here in case they die so they can keep back into the fight. Okay. Back on Roche. Viper now with travel. He's went for baby crit actually. He's got a little tiny crystallis there. He home should not contest this Roshan. Oh, Arx is coming out on Mars, boys. Almost done, almost done. He also got a cheeky Minotaur horn for the extra spell immunity. Um, and Basher up on Night Stalker. It's night time <coughs> for two more minutes. They have to take Roche now. Here for neutral items. We've got the Minotaur horn, we got the Havoc hammer, which is super good, by the way, on the Night Stalker. It takes him over 4k HP. They've got the Flicker, which no one's using, and the Ninja gear. The other team, just the Witless Shackle and the Timeless Relic so far. Could it go another round? No, this is over after this. The one team will win, one team will win. Net worth, Grot. This one? 25k net worth, but it's all about the team fight. It's all about team fight. Where is the entire enemy team? Oh no. <laughs> I was like, what? what kind of sorcery is this? Uh can we check hero levels? Yep, Night Stalker's still level 23. Everyone else level 22. 23 on Viper. Here we go. There's the initiation. The Mars Arena. The BKB. Nice. That's a dead undying. Four stop away for Fade this time. S Triple C throwing down Aros. Uros is getting low. Uros is getting low. The TP in from Somnus. Uros will fall, but so will the Dry Ranger. The buyback coming through. Now the Laguna Blade XM. He's forced down. He's got no buyback right now. Chalice. He's trying to walk this out here. Dry TPing in on the backside. Cancel the TP. Yeah, it's over. He's dead. Let them have Roche. Let them have Roche. Let them eat cake. That egg is fast, boys. I mean, they killed the Night Stalker. No, I think someone said don't take the Roche fight. That wasn't a Roche fight, that was a smoke gun. See the win probability. Uh 12% of a chance. 12% of a chance. The problem is the assault curas actually on Somnus. That is basically what has turned this game around. Like he gets it super fast and Drow just feels like not a hero right now. Over the Scardi, but it's delayed. Nice little blast. Both the supports keep dying very quick as well. Night Stalker is doing a real good job getting in on top of them, even with the uh, Ghost Scepter. Coming in, trying to hit the tower. Once again, you get hexed up. It's Somnus, he's on the low ground. He's pumping in the arrows, the damage even into the tower. Tower down. 41 minutes in, Jeeves. 41 minutes in. I thought you said this game was over. 
if he didn't take high ground. No. Fight like that is. Nice arena, Laguna Blade coming through. Chalice is still alive though. The snacks from Mars, the shackles from Infinite. He range away. Chalice is still alive, but he does finally go down. Now Uro's coming in through that backline. Somnus, he's getting pummeled with the arrows. Pummel, 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 pummel. He's down. That's the age is broken. Now Uros pops off the BKB, tries to back on out of this. They've got the root from Mr. Nature's Prophet. He goes for the BKB TP out. Can they stop him? No. Nature's Prophet Satanic. Can't, I can't do man fight anymore. And King. <coughs> so Abyssal. It's queued up for the Night Stalker. He wants to save his buyback for now. Keeper of the Light. For the four staff, he's got Refresher Orb. Jesus. <laughs> Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Refresher Orb. On a position four. Double Ignis Fatus, boys. Double Ignis Fatus. Movement around the map by the Nature's Prophet. Make sure they secure the other outpost. Oh, he's on five. He's position five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Scotty's finished up. They can actually deal with the Satanic. He almost has the money for it as well, but his buyback is on cooldown, so he might as well buy out, actually. Got four minutes to farm it back. And this is just safe play right now. Safe play from Ehome. There's nobody anywhere near them. Right, XM is down here. Even he's TPing back. The top lane push coming in. Free gold for dry. Very nice. Very nice. Somnus, he did finish the Bloodthorn. He's got the Monkey King bar as well. Dude, still six seconds on the BKB. Another smoke from Elephant. These have been very effective indeed. There are not many buybacks available. Oh my god, Gaben, please. Level 25 now on Night Stalker with a double damage. He has minus 60 seconds Dark Ascension cooldown. Viper 25 as well. AoE Silence, right? On Nether Toxin. It's so strong, dude. It's so strong. I can I can counter terrorist lead on dust. That makes no sense. Terrorists literally have the line. Even pro games though. The seeds are for yeah, I mean they're pretty short on B on buybacks right now on both sides, I have to say. Uros is starting to tail off a little bit. Does have his abyssal finished up though, that's gonna be pretty strong. Dogs that you can eat for the double Got a bottled up double damage. Roche up in 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Chalice is getting a little bit brave as he goes out here. So I'm just going to TP on top of him. Can they rotate bodies around fast enough though? I think they want to. Uh, some people are watching on mobile, Italian. Some people are watching on mobile. Let's go, let's go, double damage. 5% of a chance for Ehome right now. 35 to 20, 41k net worth advantage. You want to see a swing? Yeah, but it's really small, guys. It's really small on mobile. Oh, did you 
you think that was real? It's not. Uh, watch out, Viper. Where is he? Where? Oh, 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 XM. He is smoked up because of the ninja gear. Very nice, very nice. What did he swap in and out there? Why was his AC on cooldown? Being back to base. Good man. Yeah, but he's a mod, so he has to mod on mobile. Dude is a god, you know what I'm saying? Ah, very smart, very smart. It was the old Radiance Burn play, right? Pretty scary when you've got double damage potential Night Stalker chasing you though, right? Yep, 43k net worth lead, 44k net worth lead. Roshan coming up in 50 seconds or so. Buyback coming up for Dry Ranger. Buyback coming up now for Night Stalker. Scotty is done for the Dry. That is the big news here. Also got an Illusionist cape. Able to make these plays. Look at this. Look at this Dry Illusion, man. 25 talent. She doesn't have it yet. So Ian, I'm going to stay in their base until when? Until they feel strong. Want to see the net worth of the heroes? It's Nature's Prophet. Look, look how strong he is, guys. Look how strong Nature's... Look at all the items that Nature's Prophet has. Look how strong he is, guys. Now what? Yeah, you gotta go, Roche. That's what everyone's waiting for. And I don't think Ehom can defend us. I think they're better off just trying to hold the high ground. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's Mars. Mars is saying... What's Mars saying? Being fall back? Got Deso. He's going for the Shiva's guard. Still Shiva's. Did he get it finished on Uberlord? I mean, he has the gold for it, but he needs to actually get to the, uh, get to the secret shop. Sixteen minute neutral items. Oh yeah, you mean item wise? Yeah, yeah, because they're so far ahead on net worth. They already have everything they need, right? The only extra thing they can get is like some uh, moon shards, which Night Stalker is building, but he's saving his BKB. Lotus Orb, Four Staff, Glimmer Cape, uh, Refresher up for Keeper of the Light. No problemo. I like that he still keeps the Essence Ring, huh? In case he needs. Never seen a team go back from 1k GPM lead after 20 minutes. Final is yes, after this. Weeb is just a hardcore Seraphim fan, aren't you, Weeb? Alright, so what do we get? Who gets the Gucci's? Who gets the Gucci's? Cheese for Nature's Prophet. Who's got the Aegis? Who's getting the Aegis? Wait, where is the... Wait. Oh, Yang got it. Yang got it. Was making space for it. Mars has two Ags, boys. Mars has two Ags. He sells his Ags there, gets a little bit of coin back. I mean, maybe that could have gone a different way, I don't know. Yeah, sold one for the Shiva's Guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still got enough money for buyback as well. Yeah, he's talking about DK. He's talking about DK. Yeah, he's got both. He's got both. Don't worry. Buyback is available. Buyback is available. Only 2.5k for some reason. Uh, we want to know, does Dry have level 25? She does have level 25. She went for 30% cooldown reduction. So, good. I feel like the game ends in 5 minutes. Well, if the game ends in 5 minutes, you're getting banned. No! Why did I say that? So 
55k. Thinking about going high ground. Thinking about it. Everyone's got buyback. The mental warfare from E Home. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. The smokage. Let's go. I want to see Nature's Prophet Ballista. That would be pretty sweet. There's a Laguna. Chalice is dead. He's got buyback though. Coming back into it. The Ignis Fats, the first one at least, has been used. Now they try to go up to the higher ground. Dry Ranger. This I mean, Range Rax is getting pummeled, by the way. They just need to tap it. Love tap it once and it goes down. Chasing them in pretty deep in under the tower. They're still throwing out arrows. The backline grabbed though by Yang Gang with the BKB. Starts to throw down the damage. Now the buyback's coming through. Refresher's getting used up. This is to go through the backline. Looking for Mr. Ooh, is he still alive? He's still alive! What? The mechanism on the heels is too much! He does not have ages! And Shadow Shaman Fade survives! He had cheese, but he didn't use it. It's in his backpack. No one hit the range tracks. Still standing, boys. Still standing. 10 HP. That's all you need. All you need is Rex. Do, 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 do. Who who bought back? Chalice and X Nova bought back. Can you please update around items? Well, I mean, there are no new items, dudes. Talked about the Scardy. We've got mini crit coming on Viper. It's still there. He's finishing into the Daedalus now. Chalice finally gets out and he's able to get a Shiva Scar, but we already saw that. He'd used it. What's the record for highest gold lead ever? What's the highest record for the highest gold lead leading to a lost game ever? That's the question. Ages for Nature's Prophet. He still has a minute and 20 seconds. They're going hunting though. This is a bit aggressive, I have to say. Still, the Abyssal Blade's there for Mr. Uh, for Night Stalker. No real chance to catch anything here. I mean, Nature's Prophet can literally just TP in and kill the tower with one right click. But it's ballsy, it's super ballsy. Yang Gang, anything new for him? Building Rapier. Rapier Mars, boys. 40k OG game. Yeah. No, it was, uh, it was Miracle, right? Miracle with the defense. It's not OG. All right, here we go. They're going back in. Uros is back up. He's feeling good. He didn't have to use his buyback. Nature's Prophet's on the scene now as well. The Dry Ranger illusion down bottom. It's just an illusion. Just a debate. Eight. Yeah, I'm gone. He's the one that's got to get the initiation right now. He's only got five seconds to work with over this BKB. Six seconds. Six seconds BKB. X Nova. A little too far forward for my liking. Trying to bring down this this Rax, it's not going to happen. Yang Gang looking for the blink and then the right click. Get the Rax and back maybe. You have the Nether Toxin, right? Dry Ranger. Oh, there's the Aegis. The Aegis just timed out. Chalice knows. Chalice knows. Oh god, this the psychological warfare, boys. The mind games. The mind games. Yeah, Yang has been pretty goddamn good. Oh, no rapier for Mars. He goes he goes abyssal instead. Solid play, solid play. Night Stalker now with a moon shard. Still eat his axe. He still has room to grow on this Night Stalker somehow. Somehow he still has room to grow. 29k. Dude's falling off like. Nature's Prophet, not so much though. He is, he's about as fabulous as he is. Poor Lady18, thank you for the follow. This is game three, sir. Game three. Speak friend and enter. No spoilers, please. No live odds. Browse items again. Okay. Now has a Daedalus. They actually lose the rocks. Actually, Fade denies it. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Level 30 for Night Stalker is insane. He's level 28 right now. What are we looking at here? Extra movement speed. Lots of extra movement speed. 20%. Wait. It's all hunter and... Oh, it's attack speed. Okay, I was like, what? It's all movement speed? So after this is a best of five boost for demo. This is just a best of three. 66k net worth lead right now, boys. Wanna push high ground? Come at me, bro. Come at me. Yeah, I don't have a problem with range deny here. I don't think it was a bad thing. I think he just was... I think he, You know when you see the big red button that says, do not push, push the button? I think he stood there and he's like, he's bored. He's in base. You know, he's just doing a little bit of ward and a little bit of D ward and dying occasionally. And he's like, uh, I gotta kill this. I gotta kill this. Is this a LAN tournament, Jeeves? It is, it is. Did this go 100k net worth lead? Um, not really. I think when the 60 minute items come online, <clears throat> there's a dynamic shift, right? Can Uber taxi to enemy base? He can, but he needs a target to, to Uber too. So what you do is you go for a Helm of the Dominator, you steal a creep, you move the creep all the way down through the jungle here. You sneak him in with smoke, you smoke him up here, you sneak him into the base, put him down here, and then that's your plan. This doesn't decide the winner, no, this is just a lower bracket final boost. This game, when it's over though, there will be a winner of this series. MP can easily rot this once he gets gold of Stygian Desolate. Did I actually go rapier? I just you just take the rapier from the enemy team, don't you? Build one of your own. The problem is if S Triple C goes rapier, Yang's gonna snipe it, right? How many times has Yang died? Is he fully powered? Alright, six deaths. He needs to die a couple more times before he can snipe Dry Rapier. A dead young strap, boys. We've seen it before. We've seen it before. No, but you can just send a creep that's smoked, guys. You can literally walk a creep into the base, past the tower. Close there, but not quite. I'm about. We'll see the Ricardo flick, boys. 5% of a chance right now. 5% of a chance. Never in the history of Dota 2. Well, 4% 4, 4 of the time they have, but... This, what's this? What's this? Viper says... Charlie says... Push out bomb line. Did I break smoke? I think so. Fighting doesn't break smoke. Did I break smoke? Has team ever made a comeback from 50k plus? Um... Oh yeah, what's Lena got going on for her? Ah, uh, travels, refresher, casual, casual 8k network, uh, 8k gold right now. Everyone has buyback almost again. Roshan is up, it's ages, it's cheese, it's ags. What are they waiting for? Well, they want to make sure there's not a big break for Jeeves between this game and the next game. Actually, really nicely done by them. After 50 minute mark, gold lead is no longer relevant. No, dude. It goes to best of three. The next game, the next series goes to best of five. Oh my god. How many times do I have to tell you? That's like the fifth time now. Just listen to what I'm saying. Check tier 5 items. Do they have them yet? Oh shit. Oh, they have them. Ballista on Nature's Prophet. Seerstone on, on Keeper of the Light. Now they got the Woodland Striders from Mars. Pirate Hat. Oh god, that's insane. And all they have is X Machina so far. Alright, alright. This is done. This is done. They need, to, they need to get neutral items and they can't. They still got a shovel. They've got a shovel, right? Yeah, Luke tries digging for neutral items. <laughs> no, I wanted a creep.
Yeah, Viper's down here. They've caught him, though. Oh, my God. Look at the pirate heart. Oh, Jesus. He's level 29. It's still got more attack speed to come. Oh, down for 95 seconds. He was trying. He was trying. Did he get anything? Did he get anything for the boys? Did he get anything for the boys? We've got Woodland Striders on the Dry Ranger. Woodland Striders on the Dry Ranger. Sixty HP regeneration. 86k net worth lead. Here we go. Up to the high ground. Force this Viper buyback. Give them a bit of a net worth lead. Why not? The arrow's falling down. They're trying to take down the rocks. It's working. They're actually melting through this. No problem. Oh, look at the sum that's going ham right now. Bottom tower taking pressure from this little treant, boys. 89k net worth. No buyback through. No buyback coming from Viper right now. Alright, tries to catch him. The tower goes down again. Somnus. Now the link in on the back lines. The abyssal blade. They've got the Dry Ranger controlled for now. She did pop up her BKB. Triple buybacks coming through. Chalice is still alive somehow in amongst all this. Now the Snack Ward's going to go down. They've got Uros captured. Contained. He's dead for 99. Ah, uh, they're looking for another one. Oh, the four star forward. Somnus. He had an Aegis this time round. He will survive. Yang Gang. He's going to go down though. The power of the arrow is too much. Look at this Viper going half. Now, one more time. The Viper strike in on the Nature's Pro. Profit. All right. All right. All right. 92k net worth lead. I think this far is doing work. Did you see Viper's attack speed there? You think he's. Have you seen Night Stalker? Like, see, once Night Stalker gets level 30, he's got an, another 80 Hunter in the Night attack speed coming. Like, he is already a beast. It reached 101k before the buyback of Mars, did it? Don't want to focus rocks, he says. Yeah, but they focus rocks, they get pummeled. Can't afford to, uh, and now they're going to get all the items, by the way. Force boots for Shadow Shaman. All right, all right, all right. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. What did Drow get? Anything good? Drow, Divine Rapier on Drow. Okay. X Nova. Still rocking the telescope. Feels bad, man. Viper. Oh, Apex for Viper. Give it to Drow. What? Really wants the Woodland Striders more? No, surely not. Still using the shovel, boys. Still using the shovel. He's buying Ags. I mean, they got fucked on items. I'm not going to lie. Like, two pairs of boots. What's that about? And this shit? X Machina? Oh, it's not X Machina. It is X Machina. Oh, I thought he had Apex. For... Wait, the Apex is... Oh, the Undying. What does he get for his X Machina? Double four staff, double ATOS, double BKB. Tonic now. Uros with a pirate hat with 8 million billion attack speed. He needs this level 30. He needs this level 30. X Machina, great item for Undying. Yeah, but it's on the Viper. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, dude, it only does items, it only does items. So what do you get out of that? Like, double Ghost Scepter, double Medallion? Nah, Viper is better than Viper. <clears throat> yeah, we, we know this, dude, we know this. Alright, they're trying to come in, but the fortification is going to hold it at bay. Chalice, there's going to be more tree boys. He's just getting more damage. You're just making him more powerful. More powerful. The mech, he's got 8 million armor Night right now. 39 armor, 40 armor. Okay, they get one down. Maybe going in now. Solve this with the Lincoln Sphere up. Chalice, he's still getting first down. Another Laguna Blade on top of it. Refresher shard for Laguna Blade number two, but they do take melee rocks. Take melee rocks. 101k net worth lead. Let's go top. Classic Chinese plate. 
Take melee, go top, go next, go next set. Just need to kill Drow and Viper now. Yes, they've got no bio box on these heroes. But Drow has a Divine Rapier. Easier said than done. And crits as well. And she's eating an Ags. What's Drow's gold at? What, you mean her net worth? She has 1.6k gold right now, but her net worth is 37k. Look at Lena. Lena, more net worth. Lena, more net worth than the Drow. What? <laughs> she can't buy back, dude. Just buy back's on cooldown for like three minutes. About, about 6k, I think. Or 5k. Oh, no. It's only 3.3. Night Stalkers, I think, is, is more. He's still... God damn. 3.7k on Night Stalker. 4.6k, I think. Highest on Nature's Prophet. Yeah. Nature's Prophet. He's got a casual 12k gold right now. You know? Feeling good. It's this ballista on Nature's Prophet, man. So strong. The Elephant's Contractor. <laughs> Played by the hour. Mutt Ha, thank you for the follow, my dude. Speak friend and enter. Keep it clean. Keep it PMA. Techies yesterday. 100k today. Yep. Why not buy a refresher for double satanic on BKB? What natures? I mean, does he have one maybe already? No, he doesn't? Okay. Does he not have a cooldown refresher uh, talent though? Yeah, he's got 20% cooldown refresher, uh, cooldown talent anyway. Uh, are you blind as to what's happening? Um. I mean, they're taking rocks. It's happening very slowly. No, 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 no. They saw the game yesterday. They saw the game yesterday. Lena Rapier. Okay. Okay. Night Stalker. He could get a Rapier. Why is that another 90 minute game though? It doesn't make any sense. God damn it. 10 rapiers, let's go. Alright, 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 alright. Night Stalker, can you actually farm, sir? You, we want to see your level 30. You're very close, dude. Just just one more crap. Actually, more than one crap, dude. What is it? 600 XP. Yes, yes, it's 103k net worth lead. Yes, it's 42 to 24. No one's died for a while. They're waiting for Roche. As you do. Need the ages for that second life. Night Stalker with a refresher shard. He's still got cheese from the last time round. Plenty to play with here. Wait, are they going in up top? Oh, Chalice, he'll lead the front line here. He's quite happy to munch down on all the crapper. Eh? Net worth, please. Really? You want to see net worth right now? Okay. There you go, dudes. There you go. Okay, cool. Awesome. Hundred and five K. There we go. BKB coming out on FY. He is the machine gun. He's the machine gunner. Takes down the tower. That rapier paying off instantly. Final tower's down, boys. Final tower's down. Bottom lane is getting chunked a little bit as well as the creep come in, try and take out this ranged racks. Mega, cre Mega creeps doesn't change anything. Okay, here we go, Roshan. Anybody want anything? Yang Gang, he's gonna eat the Yags. Okay, wait. He's got a spare axe. Why has he got two? Well, I guess it's call. Okay, I was like, why did he take that? He already had eaten the axe before. But who got Aegis? Does anyone take Aegis? They just leave it? Lena's taking Aegis. Suicide Lena. It's Suicide Lena. She's leaving her bloodstone in the pit, boys. Oh no, where did she leave then? Picked it up again. I don't know. 
Lena's got two cheeses. Yeah, it's suicide Lena. They just go in. Lena just kills herself for the rocks. That's what's happening right now. Alright, here we go. The initiation. Let's get ready. Chalice. He goes for the protection here. Been a while since I saw someone sign. FY, he's got the Lincolns up. Look, he's just chunking down. There's no way to stop him. The BKB through now as well. The rocks are down. Four stop through the back line. They're looking for Uros to get a little bit of poison on. Look at the length of these shackles right now. <laughs> Chalice with the chase forward. Lena backing it up. Gets a little bit spooked right now. He's got no BKB to work around for now. No one's dead. No one's dead. They do take another rocks. They do take another rocks. 116k net worth lead. Oh, did they give the belief the bliss to Alina? They did. They did. They did. They did. Well spotted, dude. Well spotted. Our Aether lens is backpacked. Our refresher is backpacked. You could refresh and have BKB again and go for rocks. One rocks remaining. Does it even matter right now? Like nobody's really too concerned if they can't get farmed. Nova, here we go. Uros looking for an angle. He's level 30. He's got incredible attack speed. It's through the roof. Wait, Uros getting controlled here, getting handled. The shackles, the fade shackles. Oh, oh, Uros is dead. 100 seconds on the side. Like someone died, boys. Now the Laguna Blade are an excellent Ignis fast, but dealt with very quickly by the ranged attackers. Downstairs, nice. Solomon, she's trying to push in a little bit here, but it doesn't really achieve too much. Fade roasting forward with the fade boots. Looking for the blink, looking for the catch here. Where is he? He's gonzo. He is gonzo. Yeah, that was a great catch. If he got the Nature's Prophet as well, it's pretty fucking huge. Everyone still has buyback, though. There's no real chance of forcing this out right now. They need Elephant to get desperate. An Elephant content. Content. What are you, what are you blasting right now, dudes? <laughs> she stands there for five seconds blasting an empty camp. Brilliant. So where can Chalice go? Chalice can get level 30. You're gonna take a shower? No problem, dude. No problem. Everyone, Sonic's getting wet, boys. Sonic's getting wet. He's got the shovel out. He's got the shovel out. What's the play here? He thought Lena was going to be the seizure here. Well, not me. Well, the Rox is down top. When did that happen? Oh, when he killed Eros. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mega Creeps. Difficult to push here. There are plans, there are ways and means. Chalice a little far at the base. They are pacing this very nicely indeed. What time is it? It's 20 past 8 in the morning. Roshan is up in 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Nice. Lena. Aegis is still available for 36 seconds. Here we go. Gonna go in. Gonna start trying to deal with the tier 4s. There's the pistol play. They do go for X. No X. Nobody's ready though. He's ready. Pops off the out. The arrows are coming through. They're trying to murder fools left, right, and center of that arena. Doing so much work. Double arena. Double arena. Charles, he's trapped in amongst this. He's just getting bashed back time and time again. He does have a buyback. Yo, did the Undying buy back? Is Undying still alive? One dying comes back. Undying's level 25. Oh, God. I can't even. I mean, Charles died. That's something. How many Roaches in this game? I think seven so far. Uh, maybe six. Alright, ages expire. It's time for FY to back off. Holy at this. Holy at this. Oh, 
They got yeah, and the trees covering up the trees. Nice though. Lena with the angle. She's pushing forward right now, trying to take down tier fours. Now Uron pops off the dark ascension. XM going in, but everyone's got rapier right now. The damage is too much. They're all dead. They're all dying. The buybacks are coming through. The last defense is here. This arena's holding them at bay. Five buybacks. They throw down the arrows, but it looks pretty much impossible. FY with his BKB running. Dry Ranger trying to come forward. There's a there's a rapier on the ground. Rapier on the ground, SCCC trying to get to it, it's his, he wants it, he wants it, he's gonna get it back, they're all backing, they don't wanna, they don't wanna give up any deaths right now, are you serious, Fade, he'll be just fine because of this, nice, 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 he keeps up alive for a few more seconds, Chalice, going forward, Fade looking for the angle, 140k net worth, how many refreshers, 5, Night Soccer doesn't have one, Chiefs, Nature's Prophet doesn't have one, Mars, has a full on refresher or Lena has a full on refresher or Paul has a full on refresher or 46 to 25 46 to 25 we got a few kills boys we got a few kills Seventy-seven minutes, fifty-four seconds. Three percent of a chance now for Dyer. Three percent of a chance. Viper get thirty. Uh, poison damage affects buildings. Plus eighty Viper strike DPS. Plus five corrosive skin. Plus eight percent spell damage. Nothing too exciting there. Also not buying better items. I don't understand. Well, he only has twelve thousand gold, so you know he's kind of limited. Okay, some snacks go down. X Nova, actually, FY coming in a little bit too close right now. Position for Lena. 18 minutes coming up, boys. 18 minutes coming up. The net worth on Lena, the highest in the game right now. Position for 60k. 60k net worth, Lena. <laughs> It's uh, from the boots, from the boots. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you got boots that basically just puts a wave of trees behind you. Two teams have it, right? Mars has it as well. Mars can make his own arena here. Paul now richer than dry. 13k net worth just sitting on him. I mean, if he dies, that's a decent amount of money for the boys, though. I mean, this game has been over for the last 50 minutes, at least. 60 minutes. Lena, two rapiers. Two rapier, Lena God. Yep, Lena God, two rapiers coming in hot. Here we go. Roots in place. Charles going forward. Imagine someone bought a blade mail. Imagine how good that would be. Very good, Jeeves, but here comes the BKB. Catches three in the arena this time round. The Viper strike, he needs to use it. Uros is looking for the spark light. He's looking for the Dry Ranger. The man fight is happening. Uros, Uros, there's a god light coming through from FY. The buyback, but it's over. It's over. FY God takes the fucking Ancient by himself. He gets bored of his cores. He gets bored of his cores and finishes the game. He just had enough of their shit, man. He's like, just fucking end the game. They're like, you end the game. He's like, okay, no problem. I will. 154k. God, Jesus Christ. MVP. I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be, um, call, right? I mean, obviously call. No problem. You know, a couple of those. Uh, no, of course it's Lena. Oh my God. Look at this. 59k. 59,912 net worth. 14, 5, and 13. Position 4 god, by the way. Position 4 god. Double rapier. Rapira. Rapira. Looks like Nature's Prophet Jack um, tries rape. What men do I think it should have been done? I mean, given the elephant one, I think they had a good high ground approach opportunity like 30 minutes or so. Honestly. 
the audio stream for an interview. We do well. There's no point. We don't speak Chinese. It's a Chinese interview. Um, got to see his face. <laughs> how how wrecked he is. I don't know. Let's see. Oh god, that's not even the right thing. Oh, no, I don't have the link, dude. Was it? Um, time to eat, we'll be back later. So 2 1, elephant take it in the end. The bets, James, pay out the bets. Yes, it's a land, friend. Yes, it's a land. I didn't make a bet. What was the elephants who won it? Boom, elephant versus Aster grand final coming up in 10 20 minutes. Uh, everyone that bet on Little Elephant, that was John Kia with 15k, Simdog with 210, Nigel Tan with 830, Long J with 490, Skew PZ with 59, 59 with 1k even, Alien Milkshake with 1.5, Goose Never with 1.2, Ken with 1k, Chaz Chile with 1k, Evil Works Class Shaker with 10k, Peggle Extreme with 30k, and Swarm Missiles with 200. Right, game, uh, game piece number two coming right up, boys. Oh, I didn't even update the title. Coins missing, I bet elephant. If you bet, they're there. Bet's closed by the time you made your bet, maybe? Wow, all that smack talking from Anshman Chandakas for the whole game, and he isn't even getting any coins out of it. Oh, it feels bad, man. So Aster versus Elephant. I need to take out the scores though, jeez. Scores. This. This is going to be the most exciting final, actually, possible. Bets are open, guys. Bets are now open for game one of Elephant versus Aster. Elephant versus Aster, game one. Bets are open. Uh, nobody's in the lobby yet. I need to go and see yo 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 yo. Join the Discord, guys. Join the Discord. I imagine they probably, like, normally they would just roll it next time, but because the game was so long, um, the game was so long, it might uh, be a Yeah, it was some game, guys, especially after Techies. The last game we watched was 94 minutes, and then that one goes for, what, 80-odd minutes?
Yeah, MVP definitely going to go to FY God there. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Talk about a God tier play. Alright, guys, I will. Right back. I'm up to you. Maybe we do some 80s or something. I mean, it's not sleeping time anyway. It's it's very early morning for me, sir. It's half eight in the morning. Well, stick around, because... Um Coming up in 30 minutes, boys. 25 minutes even. Want to see some highlights while we're waiting? How do you know the grand final starts at 5.40, Dusty Cricket? Oh. Alright, well... You want to stick around or will we just come back in an hour then? Uh, 
does look right. <clears throat> Well, was there SOG versus IG there? No. Yeah, I think we probably just end it there then, guys, right? And then come back in an hour. It's literally an hour, boys. Okay. Check on that match. What match? Team Magma versus Galaxy Razor. Yangon Galacticos versus Radiant. Sparking Arrow Gaming versus IG Vitality. Draft fate. sounds hype nah i'm i'm done guys i'll be back in an hour i'll see you guys 10 minutes before the game starts um no point in having everyone hanging on for an hour here <clears throat> just gonna by the averages we'll be back later boys we'll be back later don't worry don't worry Type now if you want to be famous. Type now if you want to be famous. I mean, just stick around in chat if you're going to be here. Like, you can just stick around on the uh, on the channel if you want, but whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>